you'll never believe what I'm looking at. A fucking crusty dusty with a big ass hole in the top. <laughs> when you've got that passenger that just won't stop acting crusty and dusty, throw them an Uncrustable. Get that crust off their fucking personality. Back in the game, baby! It is about 8.15 Saturday night, August the 12th. I always gotta say August the 12th. I gotta start saying numbers because I'll be forgetting what Saturday videos from what Saturday video, you know, stuff like that. But I'm just cranking up the apps or whatever, taking a look. Looks like we got a lot of red on Uber X. And I'm sitting right at the tip of a 575. Let's open that real quick. Oh, shit. Choose your vehicle. But tonight I got a special video tonight. Tonight I'm going to be asking people questions as they get in my car. And I'm going to leave it rolling. Man, hell no. Look at these. Look, what a 325, sirs. Look at this shit. $10 for 12 miles, $14 for 20 miles. That's wood surges. Hell no. We're not going $14 for 20 miles with the surge. Nope doubt it fuck that yeah but eleven dollars for 12 miles with the surge where we going the mesa nope yeah but i want to ask people questions like as they walk up to my car and i'm going to ask them what their first impression is when they get in my car so that's going to be the whole basis of this video and i'm going to show y'all how many tips i don't get yet how many people are actually impressed by the vehicle and that's what shit that don't make sense to me how can people be so impressed with a vehicle, so impressed with a ride, so cool with a driver, and not even leave a damn dollar? Woo, I'll take that one. Six miles for $14? Fuck yeah. Six miles, 14 bucks. That's why it pays to sit the fuck around and wait. <laughs> you don't take the first shit coming down the pipe because you fuck, like I said, opportunity cost, motherfucker, opportunity cost. You fuck around and take the wrong shit. Wait a minute, where am I going? Okay, down priest. Yeah, you fuck around and take the wrong shit. I tell people, man, do not pass up the opportunity cost by taking shit that you know you're worth more than. These guys are taking these $14 rides because they're seeing the number. You need to look at the miles, look at the time. Because they just offered me $14 for 20 miles a second ago. I got the same $14 for six miles. So I'm going to go get this fucking money right now. And then I'm going to ask the person a question when they get in, the shit I'm talking about. It's Charlie. What's good? What's good? All right, so I got a question. Yeah. What did you What did you think of the car when you walked up? It's What'd very you... nice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Always, I'm, I'm gonna start asking people that because these apps, they don't. I don't think these apps really take care of us the way they should. Oh yeah. And I'm like, man. So then, when you get in the car and you like, what's your first impression of this car? Just the first impression. It smells really good. Thank you. I appreciate it. I take a lot of good care of this thing. It smells really good. Yeah, and I like the lights on here. Oh, yeah, these little LEDs? Yeah. Yeah, and they come with the M package, the BMW M package. So what they do is you can actually change colors with them and everything, too. Oh, that's So cool. it, it's all depending on your mood. Let's say you want to go through here. Let's see something. Let's go settings, interior lighting. So you can go here. So if you say, hey, I like lilac. So you oh can make God, the whole interior. See? And you can change the color based on your outfit, how you feel, whatever. <laughs> you might like green. So I feel like making some money, you throw green on <laughs> Blue because I'm spaced out. No, I'm just kidding. Exactly, yes. <laughs> I like blue. Pick up a rot. So let's see what they say. Let's pull over real quick. I'm going to tell them they got to use both back doors. They don't try to slide across my seats. Hey, for Barat, cool, cool. You guys can use both back doors so you don't have to slide across the seats and everything. Yep. Cool, cool. Well, there you go. What's good? What's good? Where you guys headed to? Sweet car, man. Oh, thanks, brother. Thanks, man. It's my little my little quick beamer, man. Yeah. I'll be out here flying in this little thing, bro. You're flying this? Oh, I'll be gone, man. People know. It's like, I hit the highway. I'm like, I'll be there in a minute. They're like, man. damn, that took like a minute. Like, I told you. Damn. Orange light, man, huh? Yeah, man. This is uh, what they call this color, Sunset Metallic. Damn. Sunset Metallic, man. That, yeah, no, that's a, hard, that's a hard name. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was those two rides out of the way real quick. Like I said, it was real quick hops. And let me see if I can turn through here. Yeah, I can fit through here. Real quick hops. And that was it, you know what I'm saying? Two trips. That one was six bucks right there. And that was 2.8 miles. That one was 3.7. Like I said, these are. this is going to be an easy night. Hopefully, it's a good money-making night. Because like I said, I was riding my driver when I picked her up. No tips were coming through yet. But that's okay. I don't need tips yet. I'm just getting on the road, so I'm just getting warmed up. But you guys hear how, you know, people talk about the car. I ain't even asked these guys. 
as soon as they got in, it was like, damn, man, that's a nice car. This is a sick car. And we talked about BMWs and Jeeps and shit the whole ride. So I don't see how tips aren't coming through. Let's do that one. I don't see how tips aren't coming through if, you know, people appreciate the ride. They love the good. They The vibes are there. The music be jamming and shit like that. But motherfuckers tip $1. It, this shit don't make no sense to me. It just don't make no sense to me. So I was going to keep recording all night about people's reaction, getting in the car and shit like that. But man, I be listening to my music and I can't record and listen to music at the same time. I like people to get in and hear my music going because that creates a vibe a lot of times. But these people are getting in and we just right, right off the bat. You know, we rocking, we jamming, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to stop this recording. I won't record the next one because music, once I put music in a video... YouTube copyrights that shit and, and I don't get shit out of it. It's like they just fucking put a big red X or whatever the fuck they do to music. I don't know because I did it once a long time ago. And I had a big red mark on my video or some shit. You know, that trip with Steven was, that was, I was, that was a trip I should have recorded. That was a trip I should have recorded. I'm not getting no fucking Walmart shit. Four miles for four bucks. Doubt it. I'm not going up there for four bucks. Yeah, but that was a trip I should have recorded. So I pick him up from Senor Taco. He comes out with a bag in his hand and he says, hey, man, he was like, my bag's already wrapped and everything. I don't want to dump nothing in your car, man. I was like, oh, dude, you good. You good. He said that right off the bat, walking up to the car. I said, you good. So I, he, I started around. I said, yeah. I said, man, your parents must have raised you right. I said, they probably from my area. What's your parents like uh, 50 or 60 or something like that? He was like, dude, I'm 50. This dude, I swear to God, he looked like he's 25 years old. This white dude looked like he was 25. And I'm like, there's no fucking way you fit. He says, yeah, man, my birthday was August the 8th. I was like, mine was August the 9th. We both a day of fucking part, 1973. And this motherfucker looks half my age. <laughs> I swear to God, I thought the dude's parents, because the way he said, yeah, I don't eat in cars and stuff like that. I was like, well, you must have been raised right. What's your parents about my age? Man, his parents is fucking 80. This dude is like, my, I'm like, dude, there's no fucking way you're 50. But he got a beard and everything like that, but he does not look 50 years old. I'm like, damn, man. Motherfuckers don't stress. That's what it is. And he said his, his dad grew up. His dad worked for a GM growing up, so they had a bunch of cars and shit growing up. So he learned growing up not to eat in cars because his dad had the demos and stuff like that. So they, he's from California. He said, yeah, we're from the original In-N-Out. So we used to go to In-N-Out in these demo cars, and my mom be like, do not eat in this car. This is a demo car. So what they would do as they would always go somewhere, park, and he would go eat or something like that. But he wouldn't eat in the car. He says, nope, I grew up not eating in cars. I know better, man. I was like, me too. I tell my sons that shit. We don't eat in cars, man. He was like, no. Damn, all these fucking reservations and shit is garbage. Everything's garbage tonight on, on Uber, man. What the fuck? Yeah, but he was like, yeah, man, we from the original in and out in California. We grew up in demo cars eating. He's got a 57 Studebaker in his driveway. I just dropped him off. And he says, yeah, that's my 57 Studebaker under that car cover. Look at that, 20 miles for 1167. Yeah, I'm definitely not doing that shit. So he was like, yeah, man. He says, I got a, a trans, uh, what was a uh, Trans Am? No, I said a Camaro front end clip up under it and everything like that. He says, yeah, man, that thing's rebuilt. It's got a 350 Chevy engine with a trans, uh, damn it, not transmission. Um, Camaro Trans Am or whatever front clip up under it. All this shit. I was like, damn, man, that's what's up. Whole suspension setup. Had it up under a car cover. But yeah, that shit was funny. I, that was that was worth recording. I should have recorded that whole ride because that was a great conversation from the moment he walked up and he was like, dude, my, is, I got the bag tied. Man. I'm not going to spill it in your car. I was like, no, nah, man, it's cool. This is no, man. I was raised, you know, not to eat in cars and everything. That that proves to you, man. And like I said, growing up in California, he must have been a happy person. Damn, look at that. $18 for 18 miles. They, they putting out some bullshit tonight. But it's like, yeah, man, I, that was that was a conversation. I should have recorded that one. That one was pretty good. I think I'm going to do a couple of them tonight because, like I said, my my nights are very sporadic. I can have some of the most amazing, energetic rides that people be like, man, y'all motherfuckers just hit it off like that. Ooh, $3 tip. There we go. That was my little $3 tip. That was the dude I just took the native wings. I dropped him off. That was the quick one. Oh, uh, let me see. Yeah. But no, that was Steven. Steven gave me the three bucks. Appreciate that, Steven. If you're out there, if you ever get on my channel one day and be like, wait a minute, did he just say Steven? Yeah, man, Steven. Appreciate that $3 tip, man. But that shit was crazy, though, man. Dude, right out. And that's the funny shit, because the last video I put out was the dude that spilled the shit in my car when I asked him not to bring it. And then here, here this dude is walking up, and the first thing he says is, hey, man, I know how people are about their cars, man. I'm not going to. It's already tied. The bag is tied and everything. I'm not going to eat. I'm like, dude, it's cool, man. It's cool. 
and he just seemed like he had it together because I saw the bag was tied up. He didn't have a soda or no shit like that. You want to sit there smoking no cigarette, fucking sipping out of a big ass fucking Circle K cup and shit. No, dude, was, he was like picking up his food for the night. He seemed like he was he had his shit together. Come to find out, the motherfucker was was born the day before I was born in the exact same year. Crazy shit. That like I said, my era is very different. My era. Like, when I speak to the younger kids of the day, these motherfuckers, they cannot wait and be patient. Eat your shit at home. Drink your shit when you get home. Be patient. Life ain't going nowhere. We gonna be here for a fucking while. It ain't going nowhere. That's why all these gotta be busy, gotta be busy. These motherfuckers run around taking rides like this. $7 for fucking four ninety three. dollars You know, five miles for four fifteen. I wouldn't take shit like that. But these be busy motherfuckers, I gotta be busy. Motherfucker, be patient. Chill for a second, dog. Relax. Nine dollars for fucking 13 miles. Doubt it. And see, I'm a patient motherfucker. I know the money's out there. I'm just like, I'm gonna go up here and park and, at a gas station and kick back. Look at that, 17 miles for 10 bucks, 11 bucks. Nah, I'm cool on that shit. I'm patient. Because my era, we were taught to be patient. Sit down at the dinner table. Talk to your fucking family while you're eating. Talk about your school day, your day at work. Mama's cooking right now. When she's done cooking, all the plates are gonna be served. Motherfuckers ain't like that no more. Motherfuckers is in their room on a computer ordering goddamn DoorDash and shit. Motherfucker ain't seen their family in three fucking days because they ain't came out the room. Nobody's sitting at the kitchen table eating together because nobody can wait till mom finishes cooking or dad finishes cooking. Because my dad used to cook too. My stepdad used to cook. So motherfuckers can't wait that long. Well, I'm hungry now. I'm hungry. By the time you order DoorDash and get all the shit home, it's only a five minute difference from the time you sitting down to eat to the time that DoorDash shit show the fuck up. $16 for 24 miles? Doubt it. That's for Frank going to Maricopa. But motherfuckers are not patient no more. Like, dude, he came out with his bag. He ain't trying to eat that shit in the car. He's trying to get home, sit down, have his Netflix going, have his motherfucking shit going, and then he'll eat. He'll eat in peace. That's how we were raised. Be patient. The food will be there. The money will be there. Life is going to be there. I'm 50 years old. I ain't dead yet. I ain't on no motherfucking t-shirt with wings around my fucking face saying, rest in peace, Jeff. I didn't get killed young. I'm not dead yet. I'm still alive and kicking. I still got shit to do. I've navigated this shit for 50 fucking years. I kind of know what I'm doing with this shit called life. And a lot of motherfuckers want to say, old head. Motherfucker, I hope you become an old head. I hope you are smart enough to live as long as I've lived on this motherfucking planet. But I'm going to enjoy this shit called life while I'm here. I'm going to buy the cars I want, drive these motherfuckers into the ground, buy the Jeeps I want, drag, man, $27 for like 37 miles? Doubt it. I'm going to drag every fucking thing I got into the... I'm going to buy the dogs I want. I'm going to get three of those motherfuckers. I'm going to let them swim in the swimming pool. You shouldn't let dogs swim in your swimming pool because of bacteria. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to die anyway one day. If my husky want to swim, let her fucking swim. Man, all these fucking garbage-ass one-mile trips. You know what? Let's go offline for a while. Fuck this shit. I'm going to go offline for a while. I'm going to cruise down the street. I got about 120 miles till empty. I'm right in between one quarter and one half debating on whether or not I should get gas because I don't really think I need gas. I don't think I'm going to run out tonight. I really don't because I put gas in a couple of nights ago. I don't think I'm going to run out tonight. I think I can drive this motherfucker till Sunday. I can make it. So 120 miles till empty. If I get $2 a mile, that's $240 I can make tonight. $3 a mile is $360 I can make tonight. $4 a mile, $480 I can make tonight off that 120 miles till empty in my fucking car. And that's going to change the lower it gets. Because the lower it gets, my mile will change, especially if I start putting on eco and shit. So instead of 120, I might have about 180, 190 miles still empty. It all depends on my driving. This is just from what I just, you know, it's calculating from what I'm doing right now. But, hey, $3 tip, 328 tip. Wait a minute. Dude, somebody gave me $3. Okay, that was that $3. Where was the 328 come from? Hold up. Thank you. What day was that from? I didn't do that today. Saturday, August the 12th, 1358. What? Wait, what time was that? 1235 in the morning. Oh, that was from last night. Shit. Because it's only 920 p.m. on the 12th right now. This is right now is 920 p.m. So that's at 1235 a.m. That was from last night. Okay, cool, cool. It was 1030. They gave me 30. All right, bet, bet. So the tips are kind of trickling in and shit like that. It's all good. It's all good. $5. Yeah, 
what the fuck was this? Hey, send thanks for tip, $5. Where was that from? Friday, August the 11th. So that was 9.54. So that was last night. Okay, okay, I see what you're doing. 6.6 .6 miles, 11 bucks. Cool, cool. So a little money trickling through. So that was about, you know, 12 hour delay on the tip. I think I already did this tip right here. Sometimes I can't remember if I touched them or not. You already did that one. That was my 11-11 one. So, yeah, so a little cash is coming through and shit like that. I don't know what I've done for the week real quick. Let's open this motherfucker up and see. $230 on this side. And so far, I've made five. I was showing them the motorcycles. Uh, we was talking about 73. Because all my, all my race shit was 73. All my race numbers was 73. Because that was the year I was fucking born. 527. So, I made 527 on lift so far and it's only saturday night right now and 230 so that's about 760 dollars on the app 760 on the app i've driven let's see 12 and a half hours so 12 and a half hours so far so roughly about a day's worth of driving and over here it says nine hours so i've probably driven about let's say five hours so i've driven about 17 hours total so far 17 hours and i made about seven hundred and fifty dollars something like that 750 divided by 17 uh divided by 17 about 44 dollars an hour sounds about right it sounds roughly about right to me so i'm not doing horrible i'm not at my 80 dollar a fucking hour rate that i used to be on lux and shit like that motherfucker old fucking stuck up motherfucking lux whatever fuck live but i'm still doing okay because 44 dollars an hour as a gig worker it's not bad. Think about it. $44 an hour is not bad because I only use maybe with the way I drive about $5 an hour in fuel. So I'm roughly making $39 an hour gross profit, $39 an hour. So for every 10 hours, I'm getting $390, $390 every 10 hours. A 40 hour work week is almost 1600 fucking dollars for me. And that's gross profit, gross, roughly about sixteen hundred dollars a week out of 40 hours of working because i'm making about 45 dollars an hour you take off five right off the fucking top so forty dollars an hour you know gross profit so all your gross profit is what you're gonna finish with the car with but also live your motherfucking life on if i worked 40 hours a week instead of me working like you know 20 hours and 25 and 30 i would be banking sixteen hundred dollars gross profit for four weeks four weeks of that shit is about let me see almost Four down sixteen hundred about sixty four hundred dollars a month gross profit sixty four hundred dollars a month gross profit and even if for twelve months is almost seventy two thousand dollars a year gross profit but that's only if I work actual drive forty hours a fucking week if I drive forty hours a week that means I'm online for more than that because y'all know just because we online we ain't fucking driving means I gotta have these motherfucking apps online with me out here trying to get these fucking rides going. Can it be done? Of course it could be done. Will I do it? Probably not, because I don't need that fucking much money. I don't have an expensive life to where I need that fucking much money to where I got to work 80 hours a fucking week and be online for 90 hours. A I don't, my life is not that expensive. I have a very cheap life. I'm a frugal person. I still shop at fucking Goodwill. I'm a frugal motherfucker, so I don't need a lot of money. But when I do make money, it needs to be smart money. That's all I know. It has to be smart money. Okay, it's 926. I just turned on Lux. I'm gonna try to clean this fucking car down a little bit just to see if I can fucking make a little extra money. I'm gonna get out here, detail my car a little bit, spray the wheels down and shit. Keep this app turned all the way up. Let's turn the volume up. Are we on 10 yet? Now, let's go out and clean this fucking car up and make some money. Got Lux open right now, and I got a trip that's two, two miles away for another like mile or two, and it's like five bucks so i'm gonna go do that real quick but lux is still running in the background let's see if we can make some money with this shit that james alexander trip was fucking hilarious that dude him and his buddy they just got out of whatever let me turn right here yeah they just got out and he was like man he was like how do we tip you already like i want to tip you five dollars like already and I, he was like, the route wasn't even over yet he was like dude i want to tip there it is he tipped me too he said i want to tip you five dollars already Damn, then I got a dollar tip from the one before that. Dollar. That shit. Dollar. There we go again with that dollar shit. 
No, but he was like, dude, I want to tip you $5 already. The ride ain't even over yet. He says, dude, I just love your energy, man. The ride ain't even fucking, I was like, dude, I don't, he's oh, I see it. I see it right in the app. Never mind, I see it. He fucking tipped me $5 as we were driving here. He didn't even wait. He didn't even wait till the ride was ending. He'd already tipped me already. That dude was cool as shit. Because we was talking about, you know, ride share drivers. And he was like, man, you drive like with a sense of urgency. And I was like, well, I just drive like I know where the fuck I'm going. That's all. I've been doing this for four years. I know this city pretty well. So I know what corners I can hit. I know what corners I don't fuck with. Stuff like that. He was like, dude, we be getting drivers. My God, they'll drive like five miles under the speeding limit. And they're sitting there, you know, putting on brakes before we even get to the intersection. So there's light not even yellow yet. And we already on brakes already. He had me rolling, talking about the drivers of ride share. He had me in fucking tears. And they ain't doing them but sending me a bunch of shit rides. So I'm not taking none of them. I mean, all of them are less than a dollar a mile pretty much. So I'm just declining the shit out of them right now. Every time you hear this video beep, I wish I could just say the numbers, but it's so much shit coming down the pipe. It's like, man, I'll be talking like a motherfucking auctioneer. 1077, 3 dollars 12 for 48, 19 dollars 16 miles, 6, 8 dollars Now I got a new request. Now here we go. Oh, there we go, 9 dollars 8.6 8 miles away, 5.3, 11, 9, 12, 12. Do we got a buyer right now for this motherfucking ride? We got a buyer. Do we got a buyer? Oh, right there. That motherfucking high AR dumbass motherfucker over there. Won't buy this motherfucking 938, 4.79. 12 minutes, 8.6 miles away. Who we got? Okay, yo motherfucking ass can have a goddamn ride, you cheap motherfucker. Five star high AR motherfucker. I see you, motherfucker. <laughs> That's how these motherfucking apps be, they be sending requests like that. It's like you sound like a motherfucking auctioneer with all this shit coming out of the pipe. God damn it. This is nothing but a bunch of bullshit. They ain't even got no good rides, man. I'm like, what the fuck? Send some good shit. I don't want to be an auctioneer. That's what Trip Radar need to be called. The fucking cattle auctioneer. It's like, hey, Trip Radar is now called cattle auctioneer. Nah, 78, 10, 79. Who got to buy for this? Motherfucker sitting over there in the blue hat with the goddamn high AR. That motherfucker's 95%. That idiotic motherfucker will take it. <laughs> it's like, shit. You see all these dumb motherfuckers raising their hand. I'll take it. Motherfucking Monte Carlo with a missing bumper and shit. I'll take it. Motherfucker, please. I ain't taking that shit. This ain't no motherfucking ride share, rodeo, auction and shit. 249 for that ride over there. That motherfucker over there. <laughs> like, fuck these people, man. I'm not taking none of this shit. I'll decline all this motherfucker. Look at that shit. Uh, Uber X Sheriff 865. Motherfucker, 1.8 miles away. Fuck all that. Ain't even, like I said, none of this shit's even a dollar a mile. Motherfucker, ride share, rodeo looking ass. I think that's a fucking channel called Ride Share Rodeo. That motherfucker, he need to be giving out, he need to be auctioning off fucking rides to these high AR motherfuckers. <laughs> Welcome to the Ride Share Rodeo. We auction off bullshit rides to bullshit riders. <laughs> We're gonna give bullshit rides to bullshit drivers. They like, cool. Motherfucking Ride Share Rodeo. Where we auction bullshit rides to bullshit drivers. Are you full of shit today? Welcome to the fucking rodeo, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> these motherfuckers, boy, I can't stand these high AR motherfuckers. They done fucked it up to where Lyft is. I'm sitting, I'm still on Lux over here. Oh, I didn't, oh, I got to go back online. Oh, because I went offline because I had a ride. My bad, my bad. I was about to talk shit about Lux. Like, Lux ain't send me shit because I went offline. Totally forgot because when I get one ride on another one, I shut the other app down. But I run both of these motherfuckers at the same time all day. Hey, there we go. We got $1.50, $1.25 right here, motherfucker Tempe. Goddamn Guadalupe, motherfucker the lakes. Like shit, sold to that dumb motherfucker in the orange BMW, you old piece of shit, raggedy, dusty, donut eating motherfucker. <laughs> Motherfuckers trying to auction me off and shit. Hey, we got two dusty donuts for that motherfucker over there in the orange BMW at full fucking price. You don't get shit at half price, you raggedy bastard. <laughs> Motherfuckers be fucking with me, man. Shit. <laughs> oh, man. Let me go over. I'm going to see if I can get this fucking dollar fifty. I was going to drop down and get the dollar twenty-five, but I don't want to go south. Cause if I go south, I'm gonna be stuck going fucking south. There we go. Let's move. Let's go. Cause the moment I go south, and like I said, they always put me. Lyft is notorious for that shit. They always put me in between two fucking surges. They never connect the fucking surge wherever I am. It's always a bubble above me, a bubble below me. Never fucking connect the surges. Lyft is like I said. I'll show you a million fucking videos of that shit. What was that seven miles for four ninety four? Not even a dollar a mile. Not even worth it. Fuck these raggedy motherfuckers. You fucking auctioneers. It's the ride auctioneer. That's what you need to have a fucking channel called Ride Auctioneer. And you just fucking auction off all these bullshit fucking rides they send people and see who which high AR motherfuckers are gonna take them. 
Because you know us low AR motherfuckers are sitting in the back drinking beer laughing at their ass. Be like, look at this dumb motherfucker taking a 40 cent a mile ride. You idiot. They knew you was going to take it. They knew it. It's like buying a fucking cow with three legs, motherfucker, at the auction. You bought a cow with three legs, motherfucker. You didn't even look at the whole cow. You just saw the front. It's like you walk around back, that motherfucker missing a leg, man. What the fuck? You just bought a three-legged cow, you idiot. I'm <laughs> it's like, dude, at least walk around the whole cow. Be patient. Walk around the whole cow. Ask that motherfucker, can you just walk the cow past me this way and that way? I want to make sure this motherfucker got four legs. All right, cool. These dumb motherfuckers at the rodeo where they be fucking auctioning off weird shit. I'm sitting here riding and something pops up on my screen says a rider just tipped you. It says congrats you just got a tip or some shit on Lyft. So there, now you see it's a $2 tip right there. It doesn't tell me who the fuck tipped me. It doesn't say who tipped me $10. It just says somebody tipped me and there it is $2. So I can go through activity to try to find out who tipped me $2 and scour this motherfucker to say hey Okay, there's two tips here, but who tipped me $2 and what day it was? Was it right there? Was it this one? Like, it doesn't say what the $2 came from, who tipped me, when they tipped me, which rider, it doesn't say. But all it said was, hey, congrats, you just received the $2 tip. I'm like, man, these motherfuckers, so, they lack so much transparency. <clears throat> they lack so much clarity. Like, there's so much confusion and fuckery and, and just like odd shit hitting this account all the time. They make it like that so you can't do an audit to your own shit. I can't audit a ride. I can't audit a passenger. I can't even audit a day. Because in order to audit a day, I need to know what day that $2 tip came from and which rider paid it. Otherwise, it could be anybody that's got $2 on there. Unless I already did screenshots and shit of all my days real quick. Then I got to go back through all my days to see which day didn't have $2 on it. That is it. They do this shit on purpose. They do this shit on purpose to throw people off. Because, I, like I said, I did accounting for over two decades. I started doing accounting when I was 15 years old. Did it to where I was 38 years old. Pretty much over two fucking decades. Did it professionally as a career for casinos. Did it for charter schools. Did it for home builders. I did a lot of shit. I did it for SEO uh, search engine optimization companies. MCP marketing. I did it for those guys. And now I'm sitting here looking like, this is not proper accounting. This is nothing that we are ever taught in college. Hey, there's a Lux. Let's do that. But I'm in a motherfucking... They, they are so fucked up. I'm sitting way over here in the goddamn left turn lane. So now I got to go down the fucking street and you turn and go back down that way. I swear to God, these motherfuckers are so irritating sometimes. And I'm sitting here like, how the fuck am I supposed to turn around and go do that if I'm way the fuck up here? Man, they... Boy, I swear. I fucking swear. Just the way these apps are fucking set up to not know where the fuck we are. And I got to wait till these slow bastards pass by so I can fucking U-turn. The goddamn raggedy ass fucking 1985 fucking Camry. It's like, come on, man. That's why I can't stand doing fucking U-turns. You get these slow ass motherfucking turtle back fucking drivers out here. It's like, drive that fucking piece of shit. Fucking missing hubcaps and shit. Motherfucker don't even take care of their car. There's no fucking way I'm going to be driving around all day missing hubcaps in 2023. Motherfuckers sell hubcaps on eBay and Amazon now. You can go to Walmart and buy some fucking hubcaps. Motherfuckers are stupid, man. Then they're going all slow and shit. But yeah, I got to go down here and pick these motherfuckers up. But I was talking about that transparency shit. You know, I was an accountant for a long time. I've never even learned in accounting how motherfuckers can do books if they don't have accurate, precise information for accounting. You can't have ambiguous fucking numbers just thrown on a sheet of paper and be like, hey, here's $2. Okay, cool. Didn't tell me what day it's from. Don't tell me what time frame it's from, what passenger. So it's hard to do matching. When you look up accounting, there's this thing called the matching principle. It's where you match your revenues and your expenses together. It's one of the number one fucking principles of accounting. It's called matching. If you don't believe me, Google that shit. Google accounting matching principle. I don't fuck with you. I have no reason to lie to you. So if you are trying to do the matching principle, matching revenues with expenses in a certain period, whether it's a day, whether it's a week, whether it's a certain amount of hours you want to do because you do your own fucking books. There's no way to match shit. Police, yeah, ambulance. There's no way to match shit if you're just throwing ambiguous fucking numbers all the time. Here's $5. Somebody tip you 10 bucks. Somebody tip you. Now, if somebody was tipping me 40, I could go through and look for a 40 because I know nobody tips me 40. But when they say, you got a dollar tip, you got a $2 tip, you got a $5 tip, 
I don't know where the fuck that is because it's ambiguous. You're not telling me exactly at what who tipped it, who like put on there, you've received a tip from this ride this day. Kind of like what fucking Uber does. Uber will tell you you just received a five dollar tip. You open your message, click five dollar tip, it takes you right to the ride that the tip came through on. You know the day, the time, all of that shit. You know everything of, of the trip or where you got that tip from. With Lyft, they just throwing it's like they had a motherfucking strip club just throwing shit on stage. They throw motherfucker, hey, here you go, your little trick. They throw you two fucking dollars. Here you go, your little two dollar trick. And you're like, okay, who threw that two dollars at me? You got a lot of motherfuckers sitting around the end of the table. Ain't nobody taking credit for that shit. Like, who the fuck just throw two dollars at me? Nobody, you little dusty ass fucking stripper. Just pick up the fucking two dollars and be happy. And that's how Lyft is. Just pick up the fucking two dollars and be happy, you little dusty ass stripper. It's like, motherfucker, we not strippers. We're business people out here. We're, you got to give me some more respect. Give me some fucking proper accounting material. Show me where the money came from. What day did it come from? Who gave that shit to me? At least let me know that shit. Because without the matching principle, I can't match to find out if somebody's fucking me over or not. If really that customer tipped me $8. Because if that tip customer is like, hey man, I just tipped you $8. But it says $2.00. There's six missing fucking dollars right there. Where's the other six dollars at? Matching principle. Because the accounting shows that this person gave me six dollars on my behalf, but my end of the deal, my book showed that I received two dollars from that motherfucker. There's six dollars hanging in limbo that's unaccounted for. And I speak to motherfuckers like this because, you know, I think you should know these things from an accounting standpoint if you're gonna run a business. I know people say, well Jeff, why don't you say it like a nerdy motherfucker? Because I'm not a nerdy motherfucker. I'm hood, I'm street. But just because I got an accounting degree, bachelor's fucking degree, don't mean I got to forget where I'm from and not, you know, be who I am. Well, don't you adapt and change over time? Should, no, you don't You don't adapt and change over time. You get better over time. That's it. And I think the fact that I'm very intelligent, the fact that I'm able to help out other drivers understand accounting, the fact that I'm able to let all these riders out there know and these companies know, we have some smart motherfuckers doing ride share. We're not a bunch of fucking low-skilled idiots. We have intelligence, more intelligence sometimes than the motherfuckers we picking up, but we don't fucking hold that shit against them because they're not as smart as us. We don't hold it against them. We just pick them up and drop them off. Nothing wrong with that. But I'm one of those motherfuckers willing to share the information. That's where it's different and for free. I don't need a Patreon. I don't need you motherfuckers to pay me. I appreciate the super chats. I appreciate all that. But y'all know I'd rather be in these motherfucking streets with y'all making this money with y'all. I'm not going to bullshit y'all and have y'all doing some shit that I wouldn't do. I'm out here with y'all because I believe I'm a driver that can make money doing this. I know I can make money doing this. But I want to make sure we all got the same business acumen when we doing this. And those dudes were cool as hell. Frank was cool as hell. It was Frank and Chase. Chase drives a manual. And, you know, uh, me and Frank, we drive automatics. But, I, you know, I got a manual Jeep. So we were talking about the M's. He's got a Lexus IS. Frank has a Lexus IS. So we're talking cars, speed, the tunes on these cars, getting the tune dropped in, flashing the drives and everything. But guys like that, you know, when this car pulls up and they see how it's set up, they know this must be not just a, a regular fucking guy's car. Like, he must know cars. I mean, I got the fucking splitter on the back. I got the diffuser. I got the motherfucking... You know, the splitter on the front, I got the fin on the back, all this shit's going. I got the fucking splitter rods and shit. Everybody's like, okay, this ain't just like a regular dude's fucking car. It's like, he apparently knows what the fuck he's doing. Because I'm a car guy. I love cars. So to me, it don't matter, you know, what maker model it is. If it's got a certain type of engineering in it, and I'm down with that engineering, we're going to sit down and chat about this fucking car. So we're talking about, you know, the Lexuses, the new, the M3s that came out. And his buddy ordered his M3 straight from Germany. So he's got the manual M3. You don't see manuals like that. He's got a manual M3. He had to order that shit direct. So I'm like, man, I wish, in my, my little 330, there's a step over here for the pedal. They've got the step and the cutout and everything for the pedal so I can make this a manual car. But with the ECU and how everything is set up, I don't have a manual transmission for one thing. For two, everything gonna have to change as far as my ECU. Otherwise, I couldn't use this as a manual car. I gotta keep it as an automatic. But I would love to order a new fucking transmission, move all this shit around. Man, this car would be sick if it was a manual. Sick. I'd fucking fishtail this car. So, man, first gear in a fucking little ass car like this with big ass rear tires. Shit. 
I'll be out fucking up everybody in the golf cart. Fuck that. If you got a golf cart, I'm racing you, motherfucker. If you got a Tesla, I know I'm going to get my ass dusted. So I'm, I'm going to stick to racing golf carts for a while till I perfect my fucking skills. <laughs> what they trying to send me right now is fucking hilarious. You see that shit? 30-something miles for $21 south going towards Frank's fucking house. 31 miles. 31 miles. Look at this shit. Nine miles for that. And I'm sitting on a fucking bonus. I, 866 for almost 10 miles. 10 miles for 866 and I got a dollar bonus. Man, I don't... I, and I just put the shit on... That last ride I did was Lux. That was a Lux ride right here. This was a Lux. And I mean, it was like four miles. What was that? Look at that. 12 miles right there. 13 miles for 1086. 13 for 1086 going downtown. And I got a fucking bonus. How in the hell are you not even paying me $11 to go all the way downtown from Tempe? And I got a bonus. Like I said, this shit don't be making no sense, man. These rates don't fucking... That's why I be like declining this shit. I'm about to go park over here real quick and just sit and watch these motherfuckers feed me some dumb shit. Hold up. Let me turn up in here real quick. All right. Yeah, I'm going to go sit over here for a while because these motherfuckers is like seriously tripping. And I know Lyft is probably going to throttle me down. And if they do throttle me down, all I'm going to do is put it back on Lux again. Like I said, it's going to cost them more money in the long run for paying me for these trips. Because like I said, I know there's a lot of people ordering right now because we got a surge going. What's the airport got? 11 drivers and 16 drivers. But that's 16 plus 4, that's 20. And then on this side, we've got 11 or 9 and 14. So we got about 35 drivers sitting at the airport right now. So we got 35 motherfuckers who really think they got their pilot's license, but they're Uber drivers. Why the fuck are you sent to the airport? You do not have your pilot license, and you motherfuckers are not stewardess. So if you're not a stewardess, and you don't have a pilot's license, get the fuck away from the airport. You're an Uber driver. Hit the streets, fucking drive. Pilots and, and stewardess, they are the ones that belong at the fucking airport. You're an Uber driver. You belong on these fucking streets. Let's make shit fucking, you know, make it make sense, motherfucker. Make it make sense. See, and this is why I declined those last couple of rides. I declined the last two. And once again, these motherfuckers put me right in the middle of the surges. With, I'm not in the surge. They always put it right on the edge of where my fucking car is. So when I go online, I don't get no fucking surge. I'm like right on the edge of the fucking surge. And they always put me in between two clouds. They don't connect the fucking clouds. Like here, you know how they got it connected from, you know, right here over that dollar is all the way over to like Sun Lakes, all the way over to Nosey's, all that's connected, but it's all under me. Anything north to south, they're going to split that shit. So they're going to either force me to go north or force me to go south to go get it. Like I said, Lyft is so fucking transparent with their bullshit. Because I'll sit there and go, why in the fuck do they always split the, split the surge north and south? They never split it east and west because they know I drive east and west picking up motherfuckers all the time. I don't do north and south. So the algorithm knows that I'm an east-west driver. I do a lot of east-west, east-west, Tempe, downtown Phoenix, Tempe, downtown Phoenix, Mesa, Tempe, Mesa, down. I'm always east-west. I'll do this shit. I'll go Phoenix, Tempe, Mesa, and sometimes I'll end up in Apache Junction. And I'm back in Mesa, then I'm back in Tempe, then I'm Phoenix and downtown. I do a lot of east-west driving. You never see me go Scottsdale, way the fuck up here, way the fuck up here, then go way the fuck down here. I'm not a north-south driver. So what these motherfuckers do, now they got me in there. But look, I'm in there, but I don't even think they got me in it. Ain't that some shit? My car is in it. I'm going to do like this real quick. Let me see something. Let me open it back up. See if they fucking gave it to me. Nope. Because the screen would turn pink. Nope, not doing it. Like I said, without no fucking surge, I'm not fucking with y'all. Because look at that shit. I'm actually in the fucking cloud. I'm clearly in it. The pink is all around me. The pink is, you know, got me, but they're not giving me shit. So I'm not taking none of these fucking rides. You know what? I'm just going to log off of those bastards. Fuck them. Because I don't have time for games right now. Don't have me sitting in the fucking surge, but you sending me rides with no surge attached. But I'm clearly in the fucking pink. And then they go, well, you got to be dark. Motherfucker, I'm not going backwards 10 feet. I'm not going backwards 20 feet. I'm not going no fucking where. I'm just going to turn your shit off. Fuck you. Open up Uber and let's drive Uber for a little while because I don't have time for no fuckery. People need to get multiple apps on their fucking phone because I don't give a fuck about these apps. Just like these apps don't give a fuck about me. I already know that. I know that. 
I ain't got to guess. Motherfucker, I know that. And here's something in the morning. Seven miles from New Orleans. Got 310. Way the fuck out here. Let me see. That's only seven miles from Buckeye to the airport. 20 bucks at 310 in the morning. Fuck it, I'll take it. It's only seven miles. And by that time, the club will be... I know if it was before three, I wouldn't have took it. So I'd rather drive Uber for a little bit. Take a photo of yourself. Okay, you dusty bastards. I should put the picture of that old dusty ass dude on here. You raggedy motherfuckers. Couldn't mess with me. They're like, well, this dude keep going online and offline and online and off. Motherfucker, I do what I want to do. I'm a contractor. I'm not your motherfucking employee. If I want to log off and log on back and forth for a whole fucking hour, I'll do it. Motherfucker, tell me, take a picture, confirm as you. We're tired of you logging off and on. Motherfucker, I'm tired of you giving me shitty fucking fares. So send me fucking better goddamn surges and better fares. Shit, now stop logging the fuck off of you raggedy motherfuckers. Nope. Look at that, Scottsdale, going up to Scottsdale. I'm not a north-south driver. Fuck that, I'm east-west. Motherfucker's trying to send me way the fuck up north. Let's do that one, though. Where the fuck am I at? 0.7 of a mile away? All right, I got to go up here. Pick this motherfucker up on college. Probably already passed. Yeah, I'm going to go up and pick this motherfucker up on college. This is a $4 ride for about two miles. Cool. $2 a mile. I'm not, I'm not, I have no problem with that. $2 a mile. I'm cool. But I'm not doing no lift shit, even with these bonuses, not even giving me a dollar a fucking mile. Fuck that. I'd rather just hang out because I'm looking at the fuel in my tank. That's what I look at. How much can I go on the fuel I got in my tank? Because I got all the time in the fucking world. I mean, I got all year. It's August, motherfucker. I got till December to make all this fucking money. So don't think you're going to fucking make me like, oh, yeah, we're going to force him. No, I'm not an impatient motherfucker. Excuse me. I'm not one of these got to stay busy motherfuckers. Got to stay busy. Got to stay busy. No, motherfucker. I got all the time in the world. If I got 12 hours a day to do this shit, and I know I only want to drive five or six total hours, I got all the time in the fucking world. I'm not driving for you motherfuckers for no 10 hours. I'm not driving for you mother. Why to keep getting fucked over, over and over for 10 hours straight? I'm like, shit, motherfucker be a punish, a glutton for punishment. I'm not driving no 10 fucking hours in bullshit. 10 hours, you better be fucking jamming. Make me want to stay out and drive for you. But don't send me no bunch of bullshit at me fighting for bullshit for six, seven hours. I end up driving three and a half, four or five hours. I'm done. Because it's a mental fucking exercise. Dealing with these motherfuckers, it's a mental fucking game. It wears you the fuck out mentally. The different customers you get, the different passengers you get, all the shit you get, it starts wearing on you. I can't do that for 10 fucking hours. I'm not. I'll do it for five. Cool. Six. Fine. Seven or eight. Maybe. 10. Fuck you. 12. Fuck you. Out your goddamn mind. Doubt it. Because they don't make these apps conducive enough for fucking the people who have good mental health care. These, these are behavioral fucking machines. They're fucking with your head, giving you goddamn $13 surges, but then give you a trip that's not even a dollar a mile, and the trip is only fucking 20 fucking miles. You should have got $40 for that trip. I could have got $37, $40 for that fucking trip. And they said, we're going to give you $23 for 24 miles. That's your motherfucking mind. So I turned that shit off, and I ended my fucking night. Because it's a mind game. They like to fuck with people to see how far they can push a motherfucker. I'll just go home and eat fucking donuts. I don't give a fuck. No crusty ass motherfucking both of donuts because both of these motherfuckers crusty. When you've got that passenger that just won't stop acting crusty and dusty, throw them an uncrustable. Get that crust off their fucking personality. See you, motherfucker! Nah, I'm not doing that. It's multiple stops. No. No, so shoot. So when you get the trip, you can pre tip on the trip? No, 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 I'm tipping you after. Dog. Oh, cool, man. I well, appreciate that, brother. Mean? Man, I appreciate that, what brother. What do you mean, man? I thought I thought you could pre-tip because you was like, you paid 12 bucks. I was like, damn, you could pre-tip? That's crazy. No, 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 no. Man, man. No, no, I paid eight. Hey. I said tip 12 because that's what's expected. Yeah, man, I appreciate that, brother. Real shit, man. Again, again, again 12 is like, better than 15. Exactly. 12 is better than 15. And then it's better than, like I said, that damn DUI will add up. <laughs> You be sitting around for a year not being able to drive your car and shit like damn. Yeah, I'm, I'm not trying to get a fucking puncture on my license. Exactly. Real shit, real hey, shit, brother. We back. Close Uber. Hey, hey, thank you. Hey, Davis, I appreciate that, brother, man. You man, I, you too, brother. I appreciate it. And ahead of time, I appreciate the tip ahead of time, my man. Oh, hey, brother, much God. love, man. You be easy out there, brother. Absolutely. All right. Oh, 1995 at 4.30 in the morning. 
Let's do that too. Let's do that. So I got my two rides lined up for the morning. And they trying to send me some shit trips like this. Seven miles away for six miles. Ten bucks? No, no. Yeah, but that was that last trip right there. Look at that. Three dollar tip. Thanks. He said he paid eight dollars. So he paid about eight ninety nine and then three dollar tip. So cool, cool. I'm cool with that shit. Here we go right here. Six thirty for what five miles. Oh, these motherfuckers are really trying me today. Let's take it. Let's take it. Just because I'm going that way anyway, so I might as well just get the fucking money. I'm already going that way. But, yeah, that was cool, though. Dude was cool, man, for him to sit up there and say, you know, even riding. He was like, man, I'm going to tip you. That's the second person tonight while I'm riding to say that they was going to tip me, and they actually tipped me. Second fucking person tonight that did that shit. So, I don't know. Maybe Saturdays are going to be my hard-hitting days. Maybe I'll take off two days during the week and try to drive. Instead of driving, you know, five hours on a Wednesday or five, maybe I should just do a whole 10-hour Saturday, a 10-hour fucking Saturday, so I can take a, a day off during the week. Because I don't like to drive more than like five, six hours a day. I just, and even if I'm driving, you know, well, being online, I could be online, let's say, six, seven hours a day. Actual driving, maybe four hours, five hours. I don't mind that shit. But to sit in this motherfucking car, driving around, dealing with the different energies for eight hours, 10 hours a fucking day, that's a lot, especially when you go from day energy to night energy. Day energy is very different. Day energy, you get a lot of people who are retired, miserable, mad, upset, hot, pissed off at traffic, road rage. And it's like, night people are just drunk and fun and funny. And everybody's laughing and we're cool and we're talking cars and life and we're being, you know, conscious of humanity and we're talking like real fucking conversation. Shit's very different at night. So night energy to me is me. That's my energy right there. Which is I don't mind sleeping all fucking day. Because if I sleep all day, I don't got to deal with fucking day people all day. Because I'm sleep. Wake up at night, I got enough energy to deal with people that's on my level. Energetic, ready for fun, ready for conversation. We ain't got to talk business. We don't got to talk financial statements. We can talk about alcohol, weed, whatever the fuck you want to talk about. Motherfucking cars, dogs, cats. The skyline in Montana. That's what we was talking about. He had buddies from Montana. I was talking about the skyline in Montana and how it meets the fucking land. I was like, it's crazy how it's like everywhere you go, the sky meets the land. Like the like actual grass. Like there's no houses. It's just all these nice rolling hills and all these fields and all this shit. And all of a sudden, the sky and the land meet. It goes like bright, bright, beautiful green. Then all of a sudden, it's like a beautiful blue. And there's a line right in the middle of it. That's how Montana looks. There's not trees and houses and shit all in the way, cutting up your fucking skyline. You got basketball goals and shit in the fucking way, campers and shit in the fucking way. It's like rolling green grass hills that are perfectly manicured by nature. Nobody cuts that shit. It's just manicured by nature. It looks like that's how it grows. That's as high as it gets. And then you got the fucking sky connecting to it. Like there's nothing in between it. It was the craziest shit ever. It was Shoto, Montana. I was in Shoto, Montana. And we flew into Great Falls, drove from Great Falls up to Shoto to my buddy Chad's wedding. And that's what I remember of Montana. That's how I remember Montana being. Just like all of this fucking sky everywhere and all of this grass, these rolling fucking hills everywhere and everything like connected. It was like, it was like you're at the end of the world and there was nothing out there. No houses, no nothing. Just nature touching like the heavens. It was weird. I can't even fucking explain it. I wish back then we would have had cameras. You know, I'm old school. We probably had 35 millimeter cameras. We didn't have digital cameras and shit like that. But if I could have just took a picture of it back then of what I saw, man, you can't even paint shit like that. It's hard to fucking paint it because the green was perfect and the blues were perfect. And I just remember just driving and I'm like, I've never seen the sky like touch the fucking land like all around me. I mean, I go to the desert a lot, but there's mountains and shit in the way. And, you know, cactuses and weird shit like that. There was no cactuses or no trees or nothing out there in Montana. It was just straight fucking land. Just land as far as you can see. And it was just touching the fucking sky. I'm like, I can't even fucking believe this shit. This is crazy. This is fucking crazy. But, uh, like I said, it's the small shit like that that I appreciate actually seeing in this world and experiencing in this world. Because it's shit that I'll never forget. And it's shit that makes me feel good. You know about this I like this planet. It's a pretty cool fucking place to be. I mean, we don't know any other fucking place to be. But I've gotten out and I've seen a little bit of it. I'd like to see a lot more of it. Okay, all these requests are coming on the pipe. I just jumped, dropped off Pete. And Pete used to live in St. Louis. He's from Colorado, but he used to live in St. Louis. That was Pete's trip right there. Like I said, it was... Ooh, somebody gave me another $3 tip. Thank you. 
And that was Miss Sashi. Miss Sashi, she gave me the $3 tip. Appreciate it, Sashi. Yeah, and then four twenty six. What was it, seven bucks for that? No, I'm not going up to Scottsdale. They be, they've been trying to get me to go to Scottsdale for weeks now, and I haven't been up to Scottsdale yet. But yeah, that little 426, that was like a mile. So I was like a, a mile from them, and then I picked him up and dropped him off right at the hotels here. They're all coming back to college right now. So I'm trying to stay away from Mill Avenue, because Mill Avenue is a parking lot right now. And like I said, there's a lot of students coming back and everything. All these trips y'all see, 7th and 4th and all that, all these little trips, those are, are busy, busy ASU. It's like, yeah, I'm not doing that shit. So for the day so far, I've already made $65 over here and about 10 on the other side. So about 75 bucks I've made and only been out for a couple hours. On Uber, was that two hours over here of driving? But you know me, two hours of driving, but that doesn't count my scouting time. I need to get south because I need to get down where these surges are going. A lot of students that don't live on campus, especially the upperclassmen, they live in apartments all over town. So they're trying to be down here where all the new students are partying. So that's why you're seeing all of these fucking blow ups all over the place. These are all like apartment complexes and areas where the upperclassmen live. So look at that. Three miles, well, six miles, six dollars. That right there is twelve dollars for that to go downtown. Twelve miles, twelve dollars. No. So what we're going to do is I'm going to turn this fucking app off because I can see they're going to start sending me a bunch of bullshit. I do that because when I go offline, it helps build the surge up. It takes me out of the queue. I don't want to fuck with Uber right now because they're sending dumb shit. That last ride was good because it was $4 for a couple of miles. It was $4.26 for like two miles, about two bucks a mile. But once you start sitting online and they see you accepting too much because they had a lot of good rides. I accepted about two, three rides in a row, which was pretty good. Like that 930 for the 2.8 miles, that was really about 3.8. Y'all saw when she hit me up and I had to do the U-turn and go back and get her. So that was about really 3.8 miles. So the money is good and everything's out there. But Uber is now seeing everybody as cash cows. They see all these drivers as potential cash cows. They don't give a fuck about us. But they're like, oh, man, we can just rake in the dough with these motherfuckers. Look, I'm getting tips. You know what I'm saying? How many tips I got in a row? I don't even fucking know. Starting right here. $3, $1, $5, $3, $3, nothing. So maybe Pete will give me a tip. That's Pete from St. Louis. Maybe Pete will give me a tip. Who the fuck knows? But... What I'm going to do is, is shut down the app real quick. I'm a, I got 85 miles still empty. Remember I said I had 120? Yeah, I was about 120. So I've technically driven about 35 miles. Technically, according to my thing, I've driven about 35 miles. With 35 miles of driving, I made $65 over here. And I've made, I think it's about 10 over here. Yeah, about 10. So I've made $75 on 35 miles of driving. So I'm, I'm running a little bit better than $2 a mile right now. And that's why I said I want to maximize the gas that I got in my tank. I had $120. I wanted to get $240 out of it. See if I can get $240 or if I can do $3 a mile, I can get $360 out of it. Right now I'm running at $2 a mile. Because like I said, I'm not taking no shit that's less than 2 bucks a mile. Maybe they might sneak in some $1.50 a mile shit here and there. But I'm trying to keep my average up because if my average is up, I can use this last $120 to make about $240 and I can just call the night at $240. I don't have to stay out till 3, 4 in the fucking morning. I can make $240, call that shit good. It's only 11 o'clock right now. I got $75 at just 11 o'clock. Another $125 and I'm done. If I can do three more hours at $40 an hour, it's $120. So I'll be done by 2 o'clock in the morning. I may not have to do drunk fucking traffic. It's a possibility. It's a possibility. I'm looking for high dollars right now because I don't want to have to go to the gas station again. I do not want to put no more gas in my fucking car. So I'm doing everything I can do to maximize the dollars I get. Because like I said, I've driven 35 miles and I've made about $70, $75. So everything's going according to plan right now. Everything's going according to plan. I just got to make sure my next few rides or $4 a mile, $5 a mile, pull that shit up a little bit. $2 a mile is cool, but soon I'm gonna start having to take, you know, $1.25 a mile because shit's gonna start drying up. So I gotta get my average up high right now, get it up $4 a mile, $5 a mile. Take super short trips that are going two, two miles and shit like that. And if I could do shit like that, then I'll be good. Yeah, I've been over here chilling by this uh, storage unit place right here. I was going to pull over and go get some gas, but I'm like, no, nah, I got 83 miles still empty. So I'm going to see exactly how far I can go before this motherfucker drops through the floor. 
20, 26% AR, 12% cancel. Not bad, motherfuckers. I'm not going into the hole at 26%. You know, it was 30 some percent yesterday, I think. But they started sending me so much bullshit, I just had to start canceling. See, shit like this. Drive down there, that's like seven miles for seven dollars. I'm not looking for no dollar a mile shit right now. It's Saturday night, it's fucking packed out here. It's super packed. Traffic is crazy as a motherfucker. Everywhere you go, there's a lot of traffic. Like, everywhere you go. Burger King, selling motherfucking burger things. Am I trying to eat that shit? Look at that. 12 miles for $15. Still a dollar a mile run. I got Lift Lux on right now. Look at that. 8 miles for $6.56. No. Because I'm not trying to do no shit that's less than a dollar a mile for sure. Because I'm telling you, they're going to start sending me dollar a mile shit, dollar 25 shit, dollar 15 a mile shit. I know they're going to start sending me that. So I need to pump my numbers up early. It's still 1117. A lot of traffic, a lot of people, a lot of requests should be coming through. We've got to play it smart and not accept shit. Let these motherfuckers stand on the curb. If the apps ain't paying, let these motherfuckers hand on the curb. And I know they're giving me all my tips up front real quick to show me, Jeff, it's safe. You could take these trips, man. It's safe. We're giving you your fucking tips. Well, you motherfuckers ain't, ain't going to be giving me no $10, $20 tips. I already know. $15 tips I'm not going to see. These little Tic Tac $3, $4 fucking tips, I ain't fucking stupid. Because I'm going to show you motherfuckers. This is like that one, $3. That's 6 Then 5 is 11 12 that's 15 that's 18 28 18 28 tonight so far in tips it's 18 28 not bad let me go make sure let me open this motherfucker sometimes it'll tell you down here see it's in tips 15 dollars but i'm seeing 18 28 and that shit i don't see at all yeah so it says tip 15 dollars but i'm seeing 18 28 but that could be because some of this shit is from the, like the other one was from the other night. Eight miles for six bucks, not happening. Some of this shit was from the other night. So let me go to inbox real quick. So yeah, you got three to five. I bet the 328 was from the other night. No, nah, 12 miles for 10 bucks. Nope. Yeah, this was probably from the other night. Let's open up the 328. That's probably from Friday. That wasn't from tonight. Nope, not doing that one either. That was Saturday, August the 12th, 12 12:35 a.m. So how was that Saturday? Oh no. 678 for that. No, I'm not doing that either. This is so if that was three, if that was 328 on Saturday, then how the fuck is it not in my total then? Because here's my totals right here. Five dollars for that. Nope. So let's go on Friday to see. Yep, so it's in there. 1328. So they put it in Friday. Even though it was early Saturday morning, they put it in Friday's totals. All right, I get it. I get it. All right, so they just moved it back a day. That's all. I'm just making sure because if these motherfuckers are saying, yeah, man, 328, but they threw it. The, they said, yeah, you got it Saturday. It was actually Friday wrapping around till Saturday. $26 for 26 miles all the way to fucking 19th. Damn, that's a fucking nature hike. And I know a lot of motherfuckers be like, I'll do that. If I did that, there's no way I can hit my average of $2 a mile. Because I can't drive that far and not average $2 a mile. Look at this, 11 bucks for some taco hell. Motherfucker, fuck that shit. Here's $20 for 15 miles right there. Multiple stops. Definitely not. Not tonight, because that's probably a Circle K stop. You stop at Circle K, man? Look at that. $9 for 12 miles. Man, they sending out nothing but fucking garbage. These is all garbage fucking rides. And I got fucking Lux running. $4, 4 miles? Nope. I'm looking for $2 a mile average. And like I said, I'm giving all of this shit to other drivers. Other drivers can have that because I don't want it. And if motherfuckers are thinking, man, that's a good trip, then fucking take it. If it's a good trip, take it. It's for you. But for me, it's not a good trip. I don't want it. And Liv got me sitting on the edge of a bonus. All right, let's do something. Whoops. I almost hit the screen. 10 miles for 8 bucks? Nope. Let's, let's close Uber because Uber ain't sending shit. All right, so let's go and lift real quick. And let's go here. Let's see if we can get a $2 mile ride out of Lyft. Because Uber ain't sending me shit right now. They just fucking with me. So let's get rid of them. Well, I was on all rides already. Cool. So I'm over here on all rides. Let's see if we can get a ride out of Lyft. Let me go up some. Yeah, see, you see how the numbers are way up? It's very high demand right now. Very high demand. Because it's Saturday night. It's busy as a motherfucker. And these motherfuckers are sending dollar a mile trips. And I know, I guarantee, guarantee, they charging these people $4 a mile for these trips. Oh, you got to go four miles? 
Yeah, that'll be $17. But out of that 17, they're gonna give us $4 out of it and they're gonna take 13. Cause they're gonna make sure they pay the driver a dollar a mile, but they're gonna charge them at least $4 a mile. It was like the one kid I picked up, it was like a mile ride or something like that. He was like, yeah, they charged me eight bucks. He went two miles. He went one mile, just about a mile. Cause it was a mile for me to get to him, then a mile for him to, to get home. So he paid about eight bucks a mile. Then he was like, yeah, I'm gonna give you a tip. I'm gonna make it $12 or whatever. So I'm knowing that they're charging these motherfuckers $2 a mile. I know they doing that shit. Look at that. Three miles for four bucks. No, fuck that. Nope, not doing it. I mean, they gotta come better than that, man. They gotta come better than that. They can do, you know, if they're doing three miles, give me six bucks. I mean, I got a dollar bonus. Make the shit legit. But, you know, to be sitting here on a Saturday night, 11.20 at night, knowing all this money is circulating out here, and these motherfuckers ain't giving us shit. Man, fuck that. I should open hum real quick. Let's do that. Let's go see what the fuck the humming bird motherfuckers is doing. I haven't opened them in a few days. Because they just, like I said, they're not ready yet. I don't think they're ready yet. So let me go in here. Hum driver. I think I just turned it on. Yep, so it's on right now. Yeah, so it's on, but as you can see, they don't have surge maps and all that shit and everything crazy. They don't have it, but what's this little fucking shit say up here? Thanks to those who joined yesterday. Do not distribute flyers at the airports. Oh, do not distribute flyers, marketing materials at the airports. Advertising not allowed on the premises. So HUM is not an airport ride service. So if you advertising for HUM or you're giving out your flyers and you're giving out your little certificates and shit, you can't give it out at the airport because they're not, you know, insured for airport yet. They're not licensed for airport yet. So I don't know. I definitely won't be getting any hum shit pick up at the airport, but I might get some going to the airport, but just not pickups from the airport. If that's what they're trying to say. And they're, like I said, hum is probably going to be a quick hop thing. It's going to be something like, you know, going from one bar to the next bar or kind of going around Scottsdale. I just don't see it leaving Scottsdale for right now. Not until they get shit right. Then I see it leaving Scottsdale. These motherfuckers just took the surge and took it all the way that way. Man, I'm going to go over to Mesa for a while. I think I'm, because like I said, I don't want to sit over here any fucking ways because it's kind of crazy traffic. Because every, I'll come back to Mill later when the surge jumps on Mill. Because right now it's a crazy fucking traffic over here. I mean, they got everybody in their fucking cars. They got convertible fucking Audi R8s and shit, kids driving them who's fresh coming to ASU. Yeah, these little rich ass kids be cruising up in some shit to make my car look like a toy. These motherfuckers be coming up in goddamn little mini Ferraris and shit and everything else. I'm like, dude, whose fucking car you got? It's my dad's company. I'm just advertising for him by driving it around ASU all year. His company is a website, and, and this Lamborghini is their company, Lambo, and I just got to drive it around. Motherfucker, that's that's how these motherfuckers get, get money, man. You get a car, you make it a company car, you pay your kid advertising and marketing to drive that motherfucker around ASU all year as it's wrapped. Nope, look at that, Scottsdale. For fucking seven bucks. You want me to drive fucking almost eight miles. Almost eight miles for seven dollars all the way up to Scottsdale. Motherfucker, y'all ain't ready to party yet. Y'all broke. Y'all ain't ready to party yet. Here I am in Mesa. Finally made it here. So I'm going to see if I can do some little quick hops all around Mesa. Because usually, you know, Mesa's got, yeah, no, no shit like that. Scottsdale, 13 miles. For eleven dollars, almost twelve dollars. Shit, doubt it. And that's with a dollar bonus. Like I said, I'm not. I don't. I don't take trips to Scottsdale because the infrastructure is not set up. A lot of motherfuckers. I don't even like. Man, I'm trying to get to Scottsdale. The apps aren't paying enough for people to take you to a fucked up part of town. They're just not. And maybe if you were like, you know what? If anybody takes me to Scottsdale, we need to start tipping these drivers because they're not taking those Scottsdale trips because the infrastructure is fucked up and they don't want to get stuck up there and traffic sitting somewhere going one mile an hour for 15 fucking minutes just to drop us off the money's not worth it because the apple say sh what shit's based on distance the apple say hey it's going to be take you this long for this many miles what the app doesn't tell you is that it's one mile an hour traffic once your ass get there so you're going to be sitting there in all this fucking traffic trying to get somebody closer to the drop off closer to the fucking you know club area and you ain't going nowhere you just creeping real fucking slow unless your rider says, you know what, we'll just get out here and walk the rest of the way. 
if your rider don't, and most of these motherfuckers is dressed nice, wearing heels, don't want to walk in the heat, they ain't going to get out your fucking car a half mile away to walk to where they got to be, a quarter mile away to walk to where they got to be. They ain't going to get out of your car. You're going to be sitting there. You're like, I'm not even getting a dollar a fucking mile. I'm not getting a tip. And I'm, fuck, I took this fucking Scottsdale ride. Are you serious? It happens to me too many times in the past. Happened way too much for me to not know that that that's shit that's really gonna fucking happen. And a lot of people think, oh man, you just making shit up. Look at that. 10 miles, 1077, going to Scottsdale. So about 11 miles, almost 12 miles for 1077, going to Scottsdale. Doubt it. Because everybody wants to go up there to fucking party. Cool. Let these apps pay us to get y'all to fuck up there. If these apps ain't paying us and we ain't getting no fucking tips, I ain't fucking with it. I'm just not. Like I said, this is business. It ain't shit personal. I have nothing personal against Scottsdale. Them motherfuckers ain't never did nothing wrong with me. They've always been fair, I think. They've always been, you know, accommodating to drivers. We can get in the Circle K's and shit. We can get fucking chocolate chip cookies and fucking old flaky ass donuts. You say donuts is fresh. I don't got to ask for the half price deal. So it's like the infrastructure is the only thing that keeps me from wanting to be up there. If they could somehow manage to get cars in and out a lot quicker, I would be more apt to take it. Look at that. 17 miles for $12 to go downtown. Shit, not this car. Fuck that shit. And that's the thing. I am i don't have any problem with any of these people or these areas. What I have a problem with is the infrastructure of these areas. If it's not conducive to me being efficient, then I'm the idiot for going to an area of, of inefficiency. I'm the idiot because I know it's an area of inefficiency and I'm going to get myself fucking stuck in there, mad at myself, sitting in fucking traffic for 22 fucking minutes when it said 11 minutes. 22 fucking minutes to get from point A to point B. Look at that. 10 miles, 12, 13 miles for $10.80. 13 miles, $10.80. Nope. And that's with a dollar bonus. Nope. Cool. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna go inside of here. We're gonna turn on Lux for a little while because I think Lyft is just fucking with me right now. Cause they're like, "Hey, get him to do it." No, no. I only give you motherfuckers a couple of minutes on Lyft fucking with me. I gotta go over to Lux. Gotta upgrade the price a little bit, you raggedy motherfuckers. Y'all fucking with me now. So now we got that on Lux. Let's go over to UberX. I gotta have UberX running at least. Because motherfuckers might throw me something that's, you know, somebody got to just run to the store real quick and back. So I'm going to have both apps running as I drive. And I'm pro blue. What the fuck ever pro blue means? They just need to say blue. I'm not pro. I'm a professional blue driver. Professional, motherfucker. But where we at? Mesa Drive. 588 for seven miles. Nope. Not even close. Tell you, I don't fuck with these people. These motherfuckers know me. They see me coming through, they be like, man, this dude in this fucking declining ride fucking ass, he's back. God damn it. It's like, yeah, because I'm not playing this shit. The motorcycle season is coming back. It's time to clean up Sandy, boy. It's time to get shit going. So I'm going to try to make a little bit of money, you know, during the busy season. But I want to get out and ride a little bit this year. I'm going to get out and ride. There's a lot of motherfuckers out here having fun and shit on these bikes. It's going to be me next. Let's do this shit. Fifteen miles for eleven bucks. Yeah, some high AR motherfucker must have took that. I was like, "Ooh, eleven thirty-nine." Yeah, right. Thirteen sixty-five for about twelve miles. No, I'm good. I'm good. That's a dollar a mile. I'm good on that shit. That high AR motherfucker should have waited one more second. He would have got that one. Study quick. Be the shit. <laughs> <laughs> you are the shit for studying quick. You in deep shit, probably. Motherfucker, your goddamn bills ain't gonna be paid on time. Fucking with these quick ass choices. Slow your ass down a little bit. Yeah, let's see. I got Lyft still running. I don't got Uber running. Somebody just sent me a $3 tip. $3 tip. Where did that come from? A lot of threes and fives in this motherfucker, man. I'm telling you right now. Okay, that was that little quick trip right there. All right, where was that? Saturday, August, that was tonight. All right, all right. So it was like something. The fair was 11. I don't remember what that trip was. Stopped over on University and Rule. 
I don't remember what that trip was, but I'll take it. I'm trying to think, where was that? Oh, I think those are the guys that I had to take to the, um, what was on University and Rule? What is on University and Rule? Oh, that's the girl that I just took to the bar. I, I picked her up and got her all right, all right bet, I got it. Because she went to the sushi place. She was by my house. So I picked her up from my house, took her over to the sushi place. All right, makes sense now, makes sense now. And that was the very first girl, Charlie. That was the very first ride of the night just tipped me. All right, Ben. Thank you, Miss Charlie. I appreciate that. And we can check that by going into the fucking app. So it should say $3, you know, by Charlie's ride. The very first ride I did. There it is right there. That's the very first ride, the 1737. That was the very first ride I did when I was sitting in my driveway and went to her house. So that was about five miles total for 17 bucks, about $3 a mile. Cool, cool. So I was only like a mile away from her. Went and picked her up. Bet, bet. Thank you, Miss Charlie. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And she loved the car and everything. I wish I was still over in that area to pick her back up to get her back for the same amount of money. That'll make that $34 right there if we did it twice. But I ain't nowhere close. So I'm kind of doing my little cruising and shit. Where am I at? I'm way over here by the 101. I still got Lux on because I don't want them to fuck with me right now. Because Lyft, like I said, they be sending some bullshit. So I got Lux locked on. Let's go on the Uber X. I'm going to see something. I think I still got hum on too, or I probably turned it off. No fucking telling. All right, let's go in here real quick to see something. I want to see if I can get a Uber X ride to give me something decent. Dollar twenty-five next ride. What do you got? Two dollars a mile, something short? Nope. Seven seventy for nine miles. Not even fucking close. You motherfuckers is on one. Seven seventy for nine miles? No. Nah. I'm gonna turn and park in this little lab test parking lot right here. Cause I'm sitting by a surge and I'm sitting right in their party area. Cause if I go south a little bit, there's a little club district down there. Like little bars and shit, you know? It's, it's like more like bars, not really clubs, but it's bars. So I'm gonna pull over right here, kinda hang out to see if these motherfuckers need rides. Cause if they don't, shit, I'm out. Cause I know if I go back by Mill Avenue, it's a bunch of students, man, they're all back. And they all got their fucking parents' cars and shit. And they all riding up and down the fucking street. What was that? $7.96 for that? Nope. Both of those are dollar a mile rides. Somebody took that $13.97. 79 Quick as a motherfucker. They was like, shit. Bullshit dollar a mile. And what fucks me up is that they would take those trips real fast like they're worth more. You're still getting paid a dollar a fucking mile no matter which trip you take. So if you're going to do a dollar a mile trip, instead of doing one trip for 100 miles for $100, do 10 trips ten dollars each that way you get more a higher chance of getting tips from individual people so if i'm gonna do a dollar a mile fucking trips i want to do a lot of them because then i have a potential to get a lot of more tips because a lot of people will sit up there and say well i'm gonna do 25 miles for twenty dollars and now i mean 25 miles for twenty five dollars i'll do two of those trips for 50 bucks well now you have a 50 50 chance of getting a tip because if one person tips and the other person don't you get half the tips but if i say i'll go 50 miles but I want five people to do it. Like that shit, nope. But I want five people to do it. If I get tips three out of the five, I'm good. I have a higher chance of getting three tips. So that means, nope, another trip, five dollars, five miles, no. And that's why I crack up when I see people taking longer distance trips for a dollar a mile. We can do that short shit the same amount of time, but you get a higher probability of getting more tips because you're doing more rides. That's the way it is. So I'd rather do Take a chance on getting a $3 tip, a $5 tip, but isn't that? That's about a dollar amount, nope. So I'd rather do that than sitting there taking that $13.79. I would've took the $7.96, did that twice. If I'd've did that twice, that would've been like $15 instead of $13.79 for going about the same amount of fucking miles. But this is the problem. I mean, this is this thing right here. Cause like you see, that's 10 and four. So that's 14 miles, almost 15 miles for $13.79. 15 miles, 13.79. If you look at top, that's four and three. So that'll be seven. So that's 14 miles for $15. The top trip is better than the bottom one. Plus with the top, you have a chance of getting tipped twice. Each person can give you $5 each. So you get a $10 tip. This motherfucker at the bottom ain't gonna give you $10. He might give you three, might give you five. So you have, better, you have a better chance of doing that top trip twice. Look at this shit. I'll do that. That's almost... It's like almost $2 a mile. Let's go pick up Marlo. Let's turn off fucking Uber real, I mean Lyft real quick because they ain't doing shit anyways. Let's turn off Lyft. 
We'll go over here and pick up Marlo. I said, I still have the car running anyways. And we'll see if we can't, you know, get a tip out of the deal. I mean, it's close to $2 a mile. It's definitely not $1 a mile. It's about, you know, four miles for like seven twenty-six. So if we can do that shit, then they throw a fucking, you know, two, three dollar mile. They throw a true three dollar tip on there. I'm up to $2 a mile just because they tip me two or three bucks. Because if we can make that trip turn out to be about $10, and I'm only going about four miles. I'm sitting good. My average is looking good. But that's what I do. You know what I'm saying? You got to analyze this shit like a business. Make sure, because I now it says I have 79 miles left till empty. 79. So even, that's still a possibility to make $160 on top of the money already made. That's 68. 160 on that will put me at 228. I'll be at 228 plus the $10 on the other side. I'll be at $238. When I started with 120 miles till empty, I'll have $238. And remember I said at $2 a mile, that would be 240. That means 238, 240, I'm literally $2 off from my estimate. $2 off from my estimate from when I started in my driveway. And all the tips have helped. The tips have been helping because without the tips, I wouldn't be close to my estimate. So hopefully I can keep doing this shit. You come up with an analysis, you come up with an estimate, and you aim for that goal based on what you got in your tank. I can easily make $200 tonight by taking a bunch of shit rides, but I'm gonna have to go refill my fucking tank up because they'll be paying me a dollar a fucking mile. They'll be paying me 50 cent a mile. I can make $200 a night, easy. Y'all motherfuckers see all the trips that be coming down the pipe? I can make $200 a night, easy. But can I make $200 the smart way? Can I make it at $2 a mile average, $3 a mile average? That's the trick. Can I make, you know, $200 with a $4 mile, $5 mile average? That's the trick. Because all these raggedy motherfuckers out there talking about some just keep driving, just drive, 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 drive nonstop, just keep driving, don't worry about it, just accept the trip and drive. Of course they're going to hit $200. It's inevitable. It's inevitable. What's taking you 10 hours is taking me four hours. That's the true fucking driver challenge right there. It ain't just driving, driving, driving until you hit 200. At some point, you're going to hit fucking 200. But you're going to be like, how much gas you use? A full tank? And you ask me, Jeff, how much gas you use? Quarter of a tank. So I still got three quarters of a tank. I could do this shit for four fucking nights on the same gas tank. You filling up your gas tank every single night. We ain't the same type of fucking driver. When you drive fucking smart and you analyze this shit, you're using what you already got in your tank to make the fucking bank. You not keep running back and forth to the goddamn gas station. Because I said, driving like that, eventually, you're going to hit $200. But it might take you a tank and a half of gas. You're like, oh, yeah, man, I had to fill up and I had to go recharge. I had to do that. Yeah, of course. Because look at how you drive. I can sit in my driveway with a quarter tank of fucking fuel and say, I can make $200 off of that. Because I know how I drive. Motherfuckers like, dude, all you got is a quarter tank of gas, man. You can't do nothing with a quarter tank of gas. I'm like, with the way I drive, I can do it. Maybe the way you drive, you can't do it. The way you drive at 50 cent a mile fucking rates, the most you're going to make is $50 on that. I'll make 200 with that little squirt of fucking gas. Watch me. And that's what I try to do to educate these drivers. Use them little fucking squirts of gas, these little quarter tanks. These little fucking half tanks. Use this shit for something. Don't just sit up there and drive and say, well, I got time on the clock. I got miles on the road. Motherfucker, there's more to making money than my time on the clock and miles on the road. There's fuel in your fucking tank and money in your fucking bank. You gotta look at all the dynamics of ride share. These motherfuckers are so single track minded, they out here wasting fucking opportunity and money, not knowing what the fuck they doing. Just drive, 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 take everything you can take, drive, drive. Hi AR, keep driving, just grab it and drive. You gotta just keep driving, don't stop driving, keep accepting shit, drive. Meanwhile, I'm like, I got a quarter tank of fucking gas made the same what you made in a full fucking tank of gas. That's called profits. That's what we about. It was funny is the whole time I was driving them, like I said, that was a real quick trip. That was that $7 trip right there. Real fucking quick. One mile, basically. I was right down the street. Like y'all saw where I was. Picked them up. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Let's do it. Fuck it. Let's do it. Because I was right next to their motherfucking ass. And you know what they tried to do? They tried to give me all the... Uber was sending me rides like fucking crazy. No surge. All base fucking fare. Wasn't even a dollar amount. One was like 20-something miles for 11 fucking dollars. I put that shit on last ride. As soon as I fucking took it off, I dropped them off. And that shit went off. I was sitting right on top of a $7 fucking surge. You saw that shit on the screen. 
I was right in front of their house. I just dropped their ass off. Just dropped them off. Soon as I dropped them off, I'm sitting at a $7 fucking surge right in front of it. That's why they kept trying to send me fucking rides. They kept trying to get me away from this shit. Throw that shit on last ride. Do not be scared to throw your phone on last ride. You ain't missing shit. Trust me, you ain't missing shit. Don't be scared to throw your shit on last ride. Because what they were doing was trying to get me away from this $7 surge that was just south of me. And I didn't know it was a surge. They kept trying to give me a ride that was like four miles away, you know, 11 miles, 15 miles total for $13. I wasn't taking that shit. I was chatting with them. They were uh, just getting off a party bus, so I was chatting with them and shit. Fuck it, I, I just, I'm tired of fucking declining all these trash rides. Why the fuck is Uber so goddamn hard up with trying to give me a fucking ride? I mean, they was hard up. These motherfuckers was like, take a ride, Jeff. Take this ride, Jeff. Please take this ride, Jeff. We're going to send you another one, Jeff. Take this. It was like auctioneering, motherfuckers. We got another ride for you, 15 miles. 15 dollars, goddamn 25 mile ride. You want to go 25 miles? I can do a fuck. Zero dollar surge, motherfucker. Fuck all that. So I just turned that motherfucker on last ride, dropped them off. No wonder they had me sitting on a $7 fucking surge just south of me. Knew it. And it's all the little bar area where I'm going right now. If you're from Arizona, you're from Phoenix, you know where I'm going right now. Boston Street, Chandler Boulevard, Arizona Avenue. You know exactly where the fuck I'm talking about. So this is where Uber just tried to keep me away from by trying to give me 20 mile fucking ride for $11. I'm like, something is wrong, man. These motherfuckers, I'm right next to the party area. Why are they trying to get me away from the party area? Last ride. Drop their ass off, slide to end the fucking trip. No wonder. Let's drop Kanan off real quick and look at this shit. This shit is blowing up down here. 1154. And that trip was short as hell. Like I said, I was right around the corner from his ass when I got the request. Look at that. 2.4 miles, $4 surge. I was literally right around the corner when I got the request. I pulled up, check this shit out. So I'm driving to get to him. Oh, look at that $13 down there. $21 for 29 miles. Fuck no. $21 for like 30-something miles. And some idiot took that shit. Some idiot took that. I could I could make $22 for nothing. Eight miles for that? No, I'm not doing that. No, I'm not doing that. That's only $2 a mile. And this shit's like jumping right now. This fucking jumping. No, but yeah, this motherfucker, I'm pulling up to go pick him up. The cop's right behind me. I mean, directly behind me is a cop. So I'm like, oh shit, another car, and, and the cop kind of backs off a little bit, which is cool, the cop backs off, throws his fucking lights on. I'm like, what the fuck did I just do? It wasn't for me, it was for that car. That car was trying to do something shady, and the cop caught him. Damn, that, that's good money down there, but I'm not going, y'all know what happened last time I chased that fucking $13 surge. I ain't fucking stupid. You ain't getting me twice, motherfucker, fuck that. So the cop threw the fucking lights on, 794 for seven miles nope not in this area so caught the motherfucker i thought they were pulling me over i'm here to pick up canaan or whatever i'm like you gotta fucking be kidding me i'm about to get a ticket trying to pick somebody up nope it was that i think the people in that car were drunk they were doing some shit and the cop peeped that shit when we passed them and he backed off he fucking backed off of me kind of let me kind of get a little distance and i'm thinking what is this cop fucking doing because he was right on my ass he backed up Threw his motherfucking lights on, got behind that car, pulled their ass over. I hurry up, made a right turn. As soon as I made the right turn, Kanan came running up to the fucking car. He's like, man, get me the fuck out of here. I was like, dude, I seriously thought I was just getting pulled over. <laughs> that shit happened quick as a motherfucker. I was like, I just thought I was getting pulled over for no fucking reason. I was like, I ain't even doing shit. What the fuck, man? Nope. It was that little blue car with them two people in it. They was doing something in fucking traffic. And that cop was like, nah, you motherfuckers finna get pulled over got you and like i said i don't i'm not even nervous around cops and shit like that i know i do a lot of nutty shit and traffic and stuff like that but usually i do it for a good reason and and cops see what i do you know i don't knock that shit cops see what i do what is this 660 for some mcdoodles fuck that six dollars and sixty cents four miles to deliver some fucking mcdoodles you delivering somebody's fucking diarrhea burgers it was like i'm gonna deliver you some fucking ko pectate with your fucking doo-doo burgers 375 i'm almost at the 650 i'm definitely not going to that 13 because that shit pissed me off the other day going to that fucking 13 man i was fucking livid livid 
$23.32 miles. That shit came back. Somebody took it and threw that shit right back. <laughs> Somebody was like, I'm going to take that. Oh, uh, stupid. Stupid. We can get better than that just fucking taking short ass trips. Shit, that 11, this trip right here I just did. Well, I was like a mile away for that, so it was like a three and a half mile I did for eleven dollars. That right there is six dollars for that many miles. Six dollars for eleven, uh, six miles for eleven dollars. I don't know, cause I'm sitting on a six fifty surge right now, saying five twenty five. Where's the six fifty at? Right there. I don't give a fuck. I'm not going across the street for that shit. Fuck these raggedy rat bastards. Wait a minute, I gotta sit over there anyways. Let's go over here real quick. Yeah, so I gotta go this way anyway. Shit. I didn't wanna go this way because I didn't wanna get stuck down here. 901 for nine miles? Nope. Look at that shit. 901 for nine miles and I'm sitting on a $5 surge. Shit. Doubt it. Look at that shit. They out their motherfucking mind. They out their motherfucking mind. Close that shit down. I'm like, man, you gotta be fucking kidding me. I'm looking for something that's like two, three miles. I'll even at 650 right now, 650 surge. Let's see what I get with this 650 surge. Cause it better be at least, at least two, three dollars a mile, minimum, minimum, or I'm not fucking with it. Cause they be pulling that shady shit. They be pulling that shit all the fucking time. I'm going to take a break right here while I'm sitting and waiting on surge. Turn the car off. Let this fucking oil kind of cool down a little bit. Let it do what it do. And so that a trip just popped up a second ago, but I had the thing off uh, 14, 17, but it was for like nine miles. Like I said, with the surge I'm sitting on, I should be doing a lot better. So let me see if I can actually get some good money out of this shit. Let me fix my car up a little bit. While I'm back here, let's straighten everything up. And you know, Uber's looking for some shit right now. They're like, dude, give them a 20 mile fucking trip somewhere at a dollar a mile. Because they, Uber really wants to use that surge for somebody who's willing to take that shit. And I'm like, I'm not taking it. Nope. You ain't getting me to fucking take that shit. Fuck that. Wiping everything down while I'm back here. Before my next fucking ride is set up. All right. I gotta get some new mats. I swear these mats have had 90,000 miles on and it's about that time. I gotta get some mats going. Alright, let's clean out this side over here. Yeah, they sure taking their time. Give me that other ride because I got that 650. Let's see what we're talking about. $21 for 20 miles. What did I tell you? Didn't I just tell you they're going to send me on a 20 mile fucking ride? Did I not just fucking say that? I know these fucking apps like the back of my hand. These motherfuckers will sit up there and try to give me a 20 mile ride. I just said that shit. Watch they try to give me a 20 mile ride somewhere. Boy, these mo they, they are too goddamn. When, when we get a good surge and we sit on a good surge, they are too transparent with the bullshit they be pulling. They don't want to give you a short trip because they know that person probably only paid like maybe $12, $13 for the ride. But now you got to pay me $16 for the ride. So it's a negative $3 fucking transaction for them. They don't want to do it. But I'm like, I don't give a fuck if you want to do it or not. You're going to pay me my motherfucking money. Fuck what you're talking about. Yeah, because I ain't taking none of these bullshit trips. Oh, shit, it went up to $8? There we go. And I'm sitting in the thick of the shit. That's what I'm talking about. I'm sitting dead center of the motherfucker. They mad right now. They ain't giving me nothing. They better give me at $8. Yeah, I better get at least $16 for seven miles. If I can get $16, seven miles, I'll take it. Anything seven miles, $16, I'll take it. And I know Uber be listening to our fucking phones and listen to our data and shit. So you know what the fuck I'm looking for. Send me something. 16 miles. I mean, $16, seven miles. That's what I'm talking about. Because you motherfuckers be scouring your system and shit. Oh, yeah, I'm going to find a $20 ride for this. No, no. Seven miles. Let's do seven miles, $16. Let's try it. Because that benefits you. That ben You're going to make at least $3 off that ride. You will make at least $3. I got an $8 surge. 
charge these motherfuckers surge pricing, do whatever you want to do. You're not going to take a loss if you have at least seven miles. Seven miles at $15, you're not going to make a loss because you're charging at least, at least minimum $21 to $28 for that ride. So $21, $28, all you're giving me is $16. You're making anywhere between $5, $10. You're making it on one ride. So I don't know. Let these raggedy motherfuckers sit around and plot. But you can plot all you fucking want. I know my numbers. I know my shit. And I'm not coming off this fucking surge for no bullshit. And they're going to be like, well, you're going to lose the eight. Motherfucker, I lost 13 before. Trust me, losing eight ain't shit. I've lost 20 before. it, And I'm still here, motherfucker. It's 2023. I'm still here. It ain't killing me to lose this bullshit. One thing was not going to happen is I'm not going to take some bullshit ride, have motherfucker puke in my car, fuck my car up. Now I'm pissed off because I took some shit where the energy was off any fucking ways. I follow energy. If the energy ain't there, nah, I'm not fucking with it. The energy is not there. The moment you start taking shit that is already against your energy, that's when you start trapping yourself in situations that you're going to be mad you even put your fucking self in to begin with. So, yeah, and let me see where all the fucking... And that's the only two areas of surge right there. You got $8. Look at that, $28, $28 for 35 miles. Deer Valley, fuck that. Look at that, $28. For like 34 fucking miles of driving. And somebody took it. Somebody fucking took it. They better not send it to me. I better not be that another driver matched. Motherfucker, don't give it to me. Talking about some, hey, we found the driver. His name's Jeff. He's got an orange bent and orange shit. No motherfucking 34 fucking miles for $28. And I got an $8 surge on that shit. That means you're paying $20. To go 34 miles, almost 60 cent a mile is what you're giving. Look at that, twenty-six dollars for for 20 miles. Twenty-six dollars for 20 miles with an eight dollar surge included. That's not a good trip right there, because that means that's a sixteen dollar for 20 miles right there. Sixteen dollars 20 miles. They keep finding other motherfuckers to take it, and I'm cool with that shit. Don't get that shit to me. Keep that shit away from me. That's bad juju, motherfucker. Cause I'm trying to keep this $8 surge. I just want seven miles. Give me something that's seven fucking miles. I'll take it and I'll unlock my fucking phone so we can go out and get some business done. But how much do we make tonight so far? 87 bucks in how many hours? 17, nope. $17 for 14 miles, nope. 87, about two hours and 45 minutes. Not bad, not bad. But yeah. He said, I could be wiping my car down. I, all I did was clean the windows and shit like that. Wipe the back seats down, the floorboards, get them nice and smelling good back there. So I tell motherfuckers, carpets, old scent. Once you get leather seats and shit, oh, fuck. They done took the surge away. They're about to do some shit. I'm out of here. Fuck this shit. I'm out of here. I better get fucking going. I better head to the busy area because I know what they're about to try to do. I got to get the fuck out of here real quick. They're going to try to pull that shit they did last night. I got to hurry up and get back to the busy area because that's where all the short rides are coming from. And if I get caught way the fuck out here, they're going to try to do that fucking 30 mile ride on my ass. They're going to try to throw that bitch at me because I'm too far away. <laughs> it's like the, the run is on, God damn it. 13, bam, let's do it, baby. $13, let's do it. Let's do it. $13 for like six miles. I'll take it. Where are we going? Up north. Let's turn right here. All right. $13. Let's go pick up Ryan. Hey, it's less than seven miles. That's almost $16. Cool. Let's do it. Less than seven miles and it's almost $16. I'll do it. That's all I was looking for was a fair shake. I was just looking for a fair shake. That's all. And I didn't want no motherfucking nature hike. I just wanted something that was fair for a Saturday night. It's about $2 a mile. This is like, what, five miles, about 13, close to $3 a mile. Pretty close to $3 a mile. And like I said, I still got about 64 miles left till empty in my shit. But I just put it on Eco. Now watch what happens. It says 64 miles till empty. I got it on Eco. By the time I make it to these motherfuckers, it's going to be more than that. <laughs> this shit's crazy. I'm going to try to take a picture of it. It's 1234 and it's saying 64 miles till empty. By the time I make it to where Brian is, this shit's going to be done jumped up. Damn, the shit went down to 62 miles. I guess I'm a liar now. I don't know my car as well as I thought, because usually that shit goes up when I throw it in eco. I went from 64 down to 62. 
These guys were awesome. That Brian got, man, cool as shit, him and his buddy. So this is what happened. I should have had a recording to show y'all where I was in relation to picking his ass up. Now, look at that shit. That was cool. Eight dollar fucking surge on that short ass trip. I went 1.9 fucking miles. I picked, it took me like three miles to get to him, two miles to drop off. That was it. So almost three dollars a mile, almost three dollars a mile. That's what I was looking for with that eight dollar surge I was sitting on. I wasn't taking no motherfucking nature with that eight dollar surge. Fuck that. Cause that'll eat up the whole surge. They wasn't paying right. So you gotta fucking know how to be goddamn, you know, patient. Like I said, be patient, motherfucker. Wait it out. Understand what a good ride looks like versus a shit ride, especially when you're sitting on the fucking surge. But no, this dude, Brian, cool as a motherfucker, man. So him and his buddy, they they was downtown Gilbert. I should have had the, the screen recording. So I'm driving to him, and the pickup is north. Now, in Gilbert, they got the infrastructure. I'll tell you one thing. Gilbert pickups are perfect. You're not going to have a bad time doing a Gilbert pickup. The problem is... They have designated areas for ride share, but a lot of people that go to Gilbert don't know that. So when you put, I'm downtown Gilbert, need an Uber, Uber's gonna put a pin on one of the three pickups. You as the rider have to look at your phone and see which one they put you at. Could be the north one, could be the south one, could be the west one. You don't know yet. Cause you're just saying, I just need a fucking ride. So these guys hit the fucking pin. Where am I gonna go? You know what? We're gonna go. Well, either way, it don't make a difference. I'm going to end up in the same fucking place. So these guys, they just walked to a fucking pen. They didn't give a fuck. They just walked to one. And it wasn't the right one. They went to the West Pen. So they went to the West Pickup area, but their pen was at the North Pickup area. But I knew the locations. Like, I know where all the pickup locations are for Rye Share and Gilbert. You got North, South, and you got West. I'm thinking they just walked to the wrong one. They're not from here. They don't know how this shit works. Sure enough... The dude was from LA. So instead of going all the way to the North Pen to hit the pen just to start the timer, I said, fuck that. I see where he is. I'm going to go to him because it'll be a waste of my time to go to the North Pen to come all the way back to the West Pen. Fuck that. I went straight to the West Pen, saw him sitting on a fucking rock. I was like, Brian, he was like, oh man, thank you so much. He says, man, we've been sitting here for over 20 minutes. We keep getting canceled out. So I explained to him the downtown Gilbert pickup system. I said, you guys are sitting at the wrong pen. You're at the West Pen. And you need to be up at the north north pickup up there. And he was like, man, we never heard no shit like that. I'm like, of course you didn't, because they don't tell y'all shit like that. You know I mean, you're new. You're not even from Arizona. You wouldn't know. But me being the driver here, I know. So I have to use my expertise, professional motherfucking driver, have to use that shit and say, I know what's going on. These people are probably not from here. If they were from here, they'd know where that pickup pin was and they'd be there. Because I pick up downtown Gilbert often. So I'm like, I'm gonna help these motherfuckers out. This is what I'm gonna do. Fuck the pickup pen, go to them. Sure enough, they weren't from here. I knew that shit just by how it looked. They were too far from the fucking pen and Uber didn't do that. Hey, I got a dollar tip, but I guarantee that tip was more than a dollar. Cause that was, a, that was, oh, that wasn't even their trip. That was somebody else's trip. Who gave me a fucking dollar? What raggedy motherfucking ragamuffin gave me a dollar? Let me see something. Oh, I got to go through here to see. Let me see who gave me a dollar. Because I guarantee that wasn't a dollar. Whoever I fucking picked up, it wasn't a goddamn dollar. Sunday, August the 13th. So that was today. Oh, that was just that one. Okay, that was just that one. You're kidding me. They did not send me it. These dudes, because I went all the way to pick them up. I'm telling you, man, these apps are still in our fucking tips. They didn't tip me no fucking dollar. I guarantee they didn't tip me no fucking dollar. They didn't. That That's fucked up. They tipped me more than a fucking dollar. I'm going to come back to that fucking trip in a couple of days to see if they really changed that fucking tip. Because that shit is bullshit. They did not tip me no fucking dollar. And like I said, these apps are fucking jank. They're fucking jank. That trip, I'm telling you exactly what happened with this trip. They were sitting there for over 20 minutes. I should go back to their fucking house and ask them. Be like, dude, did y'all just tip me one dollar? Because I know exactly where they fucking live. I'm telling you, Uber just stole that fucking tip. Uber stole that tip because I sat on that fucking surge. Those raggedy fucking bastards, man. I'm telling you right now, Uber stole my fucking tip. Because I was sitting on that. I'm going to screenshot that shit. Because I'm guaranteed. I'm calling fucking Uber about that. And I'm going to say, where the fuck is my tip? 
that was a good ass fucking ride. That was a good energy from get go. They were very appreciative. They were happy as a motherfucker. Happy as a motherfucker. They was like, dude, we got canceled. And I explained to them the whole system and the whole setup. And that's the shit that came down a fucking pipe? Man. I'm going to start telling motherfuckers about the QR code. Fuck this shit. I'm done playing with these apps, man. I got my QR codes hanging in the back. I'm speaking to everybody about the QR codes now. I'm done with this fucking shit. That was not no dollar fucking tip trip. That was not no dollar tip fucking trip. That was not. Clearly was not. Motherfuckers, man. I swear, this shit's getting on my goddamn nerves now, man. Because I'm explaining to y'all what the fuck happened with this damn trip. They weren't even from here. And they didn't even know where to go, and they keep getting canceled. So I finally, and the dude was like, man, I fucking love you, man. I fucking love you, man. Thank you so much. Man, I fucking love you. Thank you so much. To end up with a $1 fucking tip? Uber don't know the conversation I just had with these people. Uber don't know the setup of what the fuck just happened. Uber has no idea. So for them motherfuckers to give me a $1 fucking tip, I know they fucking with me. I know it. Man, that pisses me the fuck off to no end to no fucking end. Pisses me off. I'm here on Lyft right now. I'm still pissed off about that Uber shit. But I'm back in that little small club area downtown Gilbert. Lyft just tried to send me 20, uh, 41 minutes. See shit like this. Man, I'm not fucking doing that. Want a 225 bonus? No, I'm cool on that shit. So Lyft just tried to send me fucking uh, 40, it was like 37 miles, 37 miles, 41 minutes for like $22. And that included the fucking surge. So I was like, hell no, I'm not doing that shit. Hell no. And like I said, these motherfuckers think we're stupid out here. Like we just aimless, dumbass motherfucking drivers, high AR fucking drivers just taking random shit. That's why I haven't turned Uber back on, man. I'm so fucking tempted to go back to them dude's house, man. I'm so fucking tempted. But to me, I think that's an invasion and that's an invasion on somebody's privacy. Even though I believe I got fucked over, I know I got fucked over. I give them a couple of days to give me my fucking money. But I really think that, you know, people should should tip while they're with their driver and ask them, say, hey, did you just get that $15 I sent you? Did you get that $10 I sent you? And I think you should say the amount because the amounts that we're getting on our screens are not the same amounts you're typing into your screen. And if you want to say, hey, you know, if you want to, you could take a picture of the tip I just gave you because I heard a lot of drivers are getting their tips stolen by the apps. So if you want to take a picture of the tip I just gave you for your own records, here, here's my phone. Take a picture, dog. Take a picture. Because a lot of these motherfuckers ain't doing that shit. Look at this shit. Fuck it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm getting the fuck out of here anyways, man. I'm getting the fuck up out of here. Like, I'm, I'm so fucking just burnt from that bullshit they just fucking pulled on me, man. So fucking burnt. I'm just, I'm over that shit, man. I'm over that shit. I'm tired of these fucking apps playing us like we fucking idiots, man. I'm tired of that shit. And, and I be hearing drivers talk about doing cash rides and all this shit. I'm going to tell you right now. That's, that's the direction a lot of people are going to start going into. Because these apps are fucking everybody over it. And everybody's like, well, fuck it. I'm just going to do cash rides. If you guys going to lie to us go against the terms of service and lie to us, then we might as well go against the terms of service and fucking fuck y'all over too. And that's the thing, man. It's like, it, it's just turning into a bunch of bullshit. It's turning into a bunch of bullshit. And it's a game that they fucking playing because we out here working these streets. We out here doing this shit the right way. And these motherfuckers is taking our fucking money. And that's the shit that's pissing me off. So I'm sitting here relaxing, eating my motherfucking chocolate granola bar. And big lots, alarm just starts going off. The whole store was dark as a motherfucker. And all of a sudden, the alarm started going off. Everything turned on. The interior lights, exterior lights, all this shit turns on. So I started looking at the motherfucker, thinking I was going to see some people running through the fucking store or something, or somebody at least run out the motherfucker. I ain't seen shit. So I've been out here driving all night, still pissed off at Uber and Lyft for what they fucking pulling with these tips. But we got to figure something out, y'all. We got to figure something out. I'm almost too scared to leave this motherfucking parking lot because I don't want a cop saying, well, I saw a fucking orange BMW leaving. Motherfucker, I was eating my chocolate and this bitch just started, the alarm just started going off. That ain't got shit to do with me. And of course, as soon as I turn the motherfucking app on, I mean, they send me some shit like that. I'm, I'm not doing that right. 
But on top of that, they got me sitting right next to a surge. Like, they're not giving it to me. And this is why I don't take no fucking rides from Lyft. They could expand the surge so it looks like that. But they always do the surge and they make sure I'm sitting right next to the motherfucker. How many videos have I done showing me sitting right next to the fucking surge? I mean, like a goddamn block away, like from here to there. How many fucking videos have I... They do this shit on purpose. There is no way I can personally strategically place my motherfucking self a block away from the surge nine times out of ten i'm not that fucking skilled i'm really not that fucking skilled so i think they're using location data to find out where motherfuckers like me are probably other drivers got the surge or whatever but they making sure we're not included in the parameters of the surge maybe they got an algorithm saying make sure a surge is you know not within x amount of feet or you know miles maybe half mile from any driver especially me because i swear to god there's no fucking way i can script this shit every time i jump online and i'm by a surge i'm next to the motherfucker like a block away D there is not even a fucking lottery sequence fucking equation of probability for that shit somehow every time i log on i am right next to the fucking surge to where i have to drive to it just to fucking get it you you can't script that shit you can't even fuck with it man all night and i did a couple of uh, more uber trips that was my last uber trip right there it had a high surge on it so i went like four and a half miles for almost 20 bucks and i was right on the corner when i picked her up this 22 dollar ride was in gilbert and it brought me all the way back to mill so that was my ride home this little 1.9 mile for 14.75 that was the, the trippy one right there but i'm down to the point where i only got 15 miles well 16 miles now i just went up to 17 miles hey it's going up till empty so I got, I made what, 142, but I swear I think it's more than that. So 142.86 there, plus another 21 here, 22. So I made about $164 on about $100 in fuel. Because, I mean, 100 miles in fuel. Because like I said, I started my night with 120. So I started with 120, now I'm down to 17 miles until it's done. So it's I made $160. I mean, yeah, $160 doing exactly 100 miles, just about. So that right there is going to tell you I've made about roughly, with dead miles and everything else, about $1.60 a mile. That's dead miles and everything. So not too bad. Let me get out and pump this gas real quick. Crazy shit. So I open up my Lyft app. Once again, look at where they got me. Right next to the surge. I'm telling you, this shit is like clockwork. Whenever I get on lift, they're going to put me right next to the surge. I had it turned on, but they tried to send me an airport ride. It was like a mile to seven miles to the airport for $6.20. Now I'm in the bonus. Let's turn it on because they just sent me that airport ride. And I was like, fuck no. See, look, there's no bonus. Uber X share. Where's the bonus go? They just had me in the bonus zone. Oh, that's on Uber. Here's this right here. Way down. No, oh, fuck that. That's way far away from my house. No, I'm cool on that shit. I can do that one though. It's about four miles for like 457. Let's try that. Where are we at? Right around the corner. Last ride of the night. I'm gonna make this my last ride of the night. Cause this shit's getting crazy. I mean, these are little, little dirt cheap fucking rides all the time. And I'm tired of these dirt fucking cheap rides. And the thing is, is that you know, it's up on university, not too bad. I can cruise up there and, and pick the motherfucker up. That's cool. But a lot of times, these little cheap-ass fucking rides they do, it's not worth it. Really, it's not worth it. Because these are a bunch of students that have been out drinking all night, smelling like fucking nuts and Cheetos and shit. I'm going to come hop in my fucking car at the end of the fucking night. Man. That shit, and that's why when I get home at night, I wipe my whole fucking car down. I get home at night, I clean this whole motherfucker out. The whole backseat, everything gets, everything gets treated with, you know, my little concoction where I use fabric softener, ammonia, a little fucking uh, laundry detergent, water. I spray everything down, wipe everything down. Doors, every fucking thing, seats and all that. So when I come out the next day, I'm starting with a fresh slate. My car smells fresh as a motherfucker. Cause I can't stand these late night motherfuckings, man. I swear, shit irritates me. It, it bothers me for real. Cause Lyft no better, Uber no better. They shouldn't be doing motherfuckers like that.
making us pick up motherfuckers in the middle of the goddamn night. Fucking stinking like a motherfucker. Like it's too early in the morning for that bullshit. I just canceled that fucking trip. Because this is what happened. I was on my way to get this motherfucker. It's that rider modified trip. And I opened it. I slid it open. He added a stop. And the shit went, was at $4.57 still. $4.57. That motherfucker added a stop. Now that's going to Gilbert. That's like, what, 19 miles going to Gilbert? Almost 20 miles going to Gilbert for $13? No, nah, I'm cool on that. Look at that. It was $13.47. $13 now it's $13.13. $13. You see how that shit changed? These motherfuckers are taking money off. Fuck them. It was $13.47 right there, and they just told me $13.13. $0.30 cent difference. Like, why is it more expensive than Trip Radar than when they send it directly to you? But I was, like I said, with that last one, I was on my way to pick him up. And it said, Rider Modified Trip added a stop 457 it was still 457 no matter what whether i took the stop or not four dollars and 57 cent i'm not doing no motherfucking stops it's like all of this stopping shit i'm not fucking with it because that's what the problem is these motherfuckers get to go into places saying oh, i need to go here oh i need to go here i need to go here i need to go here wait a minute 10 miles away to come all the way back that's 20 that's 19 miles for 13 dollars shit doubt it fuck that shit 10 miles away to bring them nine miles back for $10. 50 cent a fucking mile? Nope. What is this? This is an airport run. Let's do it. I'm headed down that way anyway. I'm going to go pick up Janet down here at the Westin and take her to the airport. Done. Let's call that shit a day because they starting to do some nutty shit. That's my last fucking ride right there. Nope. I'm done. Okay, I just did my airport drop. I just I picked her up at the uh, Westin and got her to the airport. I mean, it, it probably could have been a scheduled one, but somebody out there was like, yeah, we ain't doing that. So I ended up getting, for the day, 172, about $173. So 173, less than five hours. You know me, scouting like a motherfucker. I probably only drove maybe about four hours for that shit. So I'm still around about $40 an hour, not bad. And then on Lyft, so it was 173 over there. And on Lyft, it was like 22. So about $195 on a day. Not bad. $195 on a day. I could still make a couple of bucks to make it a $200 a day, but I'm like, eh, I don't fucking know. These people suck. It's like these drivers about to come outside and be sucking. So I don't know what I did for the day. I was, what, two hours and 15 minutes, $21. Only did two trips, scouting these motherfuckers. Like, yeah. Hey, I got a $5 tip. Five dollar, five dollar. Let me see what that was. Oh, I remember that one. That was that Lux. I remember that one. Yeah, but right now it looks like you know there's surge over in Tempe because people are trying to get to the airport and shit like that. So I can do like this: vehicles, vehicles. Make sure that shit's on Lux. Lux, bam, bam. Let's go online. I'm at the airport and Lux and Lip is gonna be like, "What the hell is he doing at the airport?" I'm doing Uber. What do you think? Whenever you guys screw with me, I just jump on Uber. That's it. Like, I don't have time to screw around with motherfuckers. If we're about this money, let's be about this money. That's why I tell everybody, have more than one app. Do not be loyal to one of these fucking raggedy apps. Don't be loyal because they are not loyal to you. They will deactivate your ass if somebody said you drank a beer and they never investigated. You never fucking had a beer. They'll be like, yeah, I think our driver had beer. And you never had a beer. They just do that shit to fuck with you. And next thing you know, you deactivate it of a line, motherfucker. They don't have no loyalty to you. They gonna call you and be like, hey, Jeff, somebody just said you had a beer. Are you good? You had a beer or what? Like, no, I have no fucking beer. Okay, just making sure, man, because, man, that's fucking, they call me. Like, man, they're trying to get some free shit. Oh, man, sorry about that, Jeff. Don't mean about, they will never do that. You will never hear that conversation coming from Lyft, talking to a fucking driver. Never give us a call. Hey, man, we just got a call from a customer saying this. Are is th did that really happen for real? I'm like, no. You know what? These motherfuckers will never be like that. As soon as the customer calls, uh, Jeff was racist towards us and and sexist towards us. Okay, thanks for letting us know. We appreciate you uh, snitching on our drivers and keeping everything up and just fucking deactivate you real quick. No questions, no nothing. Just deactivate you. Put your shit on hold. No investigation. Uh, they don't have no loyalty to none of these fucking drivers out here. Their loyalty is to who's paying their bills, not to who they're paying. Lyft and Uber are paying us. They're not loyal to us. So the moment you start thinking, 
oh yeah, I'm going to get money out of Lyft. I'm going to get money out of Uber. Shit. They get money out of you. Everything you fucking touch from the tips to everything else, they looking at getting money out of you. So they're loyal to you to that dollar, not to that driver. So make sure you multi-app. Make sure you throw a couple of apps together. Like I said, I could be doing Uber Eats and shit like that. I could be doing that right now. But it's just too fucking hot for me to be getting out of my car. Real shit. I'm not going to be sweating walking up three fucking flights of fucking steps, cutting through an apartment complex, get back to the car, $2 fucking tip. Fuck these motherfuckers. You can walk through this goddamn heat as, if on your own, motherfucker. Because these motherfuckers out here putting out heat advisories and having heat strokes and all kind of shit. And these raggedy motherfuckers is like, I ain't tipping him. I ain't tipping him. Well, fuck you, motherfucker. I ain't obligated to get your shit in the fucking heat advisory. Go get your own fucking shit. And that's why I don't do delivery when it's like raining outside. Everybody's like, I love when it rains, man. When it rains, people be ordering like a motherfucker. I don't give a fuck about the orders. Is it worth it? That's my question. Because am I going to hydroplane my motherfucking car into a brick wall for six bucks? Six bucks for one mile? I fucking hit a goddamn a big-ass puddle and slide my shit across the fucking highway for six bucks? Fuck that. When it rains and it's with extreme heat and shit like that, my shit's parked in my motherfucking driveway. Fuck these people. These motherfuckers got the nerd to sit online and tell us, we ain't gonna tip them, them low-skilled motherfuckers, no-skilled, having motherfuck them. Like, you know what? Shit, fuck y'all. Motherfucker, my shit's parked. You can fucking sit around and make your own motherfucking pancakes trying to get some IHOP to deliver to your fucking house. Make your own fucking pancakes, you lazy motherfucker. You got a whole goddamn pot of fucking flour sitting in that motherfucker and you trying to get some IHOP, you lazy motherfucker. Get up. Go make them fucking pancakes. Quit acting lazy and shit. Them out some, we ain't gonna tip them. We ain't gonna tip. Motherfucker, fuck you. Go make some pancakes. Quit being a lazy ass. Just picked up this ride on Uber. I just jumped off the highway and as soon as I got off the highway, I had to U-turn and start going back north a little bit. Cruise up here, pick up Anna, like 2.5 miles and then take her five miles south so it's almost eight miles just about eight miles for eleven dollars but it's going back towards my house so i don't mind i'll take the eleven dollars and, and that could be like toward my house all these motherfuckers over here standing outside the strip club and shit looking for rides <laughs> that's the thing they when when you fucking ping from a strip club trust me these motherfuckers are trying to hit you up for forty dollars for like six miles don't don't ever get a ride from a fucking strip club don't best thing for you to do is walk across the fucking street stand at a, the cheapest fucking store you can find like dollar tree or some shit go stand at fucking dollar tree go stand somewhere outside of the strip club because these motherfuckers got algorithmic pricing when you're leaving an expensive place they will charge you fucking double triple and you'll be like why the fuck do i i can walk like a block down stand in front of dollar tree get the ride for nine dollars but i'm standing outside the strip club this motherfucker's forty dollars it's like, you got to know how these apps work, man. This is all algorithmic pricing. Walk your ass across the street. Don't sit. On, and these motherfuckers sitting on the pole and shit in front of the strip club. I'm like, dude, you finna get your ass robbed by the fucking ride share. Lippin' Uber finna kill you, motherfuckers. Hey, man, $42? Damn, 42 Because they know. If you leaving casinos and you leaving places like this and all, these motherfuckers know you got a little money. They know you probably won. So they going to test you. They're going to be like, how bad do you want to get out of there? Just like at the airport. How bad do you want to get out of there? I know you got money because you just got off a motherfucking airplane. And airplanes ain't cheap flights. How much you want to, how bad do you want to get out of there? $35 for three miles? Is that good? $35 for fucking four miles? Is that good? How much you willing to pay to get out of there? Motherfucker told me the other day, the highest he's ever paid to get out of the airport was $150 to go 20 miles. $150 to go 20 miles that's fucking crazy you telling me to go 20 miles which is one gallon of gas in my fucking car that cost me like five bucks motherfucker paid 150 that's 145 dollar profit of somebody gave me 155 150 dollars to go fucking 20 miles and these motherfuckers be paying that shit I would have my motherfucking suitcase dragging that shit down the shoulder of the motherfucking highway like I'm just trying to get to this off ramp so I can fucking try to get better fucking pricing. I'm not getting fucking, I would take the motherfucking shuttle, tell the shuttle, drop me off by the highway, fuck that airport shuttle, let me off because I'm going to fucking get a ping from right here. I bet your ass won't be paying no hundred fifty fucking dollars then. That should go from 150 all the way down to like fucking $17. <laughs> no, not 17, but it'll probably be like 45. You're like, oh shit, $45? 
Yeah, and all I did was went like fucking two miles. That's it. You just went to the shoulder of the fucking highway. You saved yourself fucking 105 fucking dollars just by going two miles to stand over there. These fucking apps do algorithmic pricing. They do that shit by location. They know where the fuck you are. That's why if you buy a fucking strip club, walk away from that motherfucker. Go to the Dollar Tree. Go to Walgreens, CVS. Name your account Margaret. They think you're an old ass motherfucking lady named Margaret. They ain't gonna charge you a lot of money to get home. I'm gonna say, oh fuck, Margaret needs a ride home. God damn it. What? She must have got out again. The bitch is walking the streets at three o'clock in the fucking morning. God damn it, Margaret. Stay your motherfucking ass home. You need goddamn caretaker. You need some kids. You show up as a motherfucking named Tony. He's like, yeah, are you here for Margaret? Yeah. But but the Lyft and Uber think Margaret's that old motherfucking lady that keep getting out sleepwalking and shit through the fucking neighborhood. They ain't gonna charge no motherfucking sleepwalking senior citizen a hundred dollars to get home. They gonna be looking out for her motherfucking ass. They're gonna say, let's get Margaret home. You know, 13 fucking dollars. Let's get her home. Fuck that shit. Margaret. 999. I got Anna right here. Let's end that right quick. So she said she was number 5,000. Okay, Let me see. I gotta do like this. I gotta do like it. There you go. You are. You are number five thousand. All right. Hold up for a second. This is gonna be funny. Let me show you who number five thousand is. This is Miss Anna right here. Hold up. Let's go like this. Turn around. Thing. Miss Anna, what's good? Oh my, my camera's kind of like fuzzy because I've I've been like messing with it all night. Mm -hmm. So that's Miss Anna. That's number five thousand. There you go. Mm -hmm. She's going to be a driver with us, y'all. We're going to talk to her and make her be a driver. That's what's up. What, 492? No, we're not doing that one either. You'll learn why I decline so much when you start watching my shit. <laughs> All right, Anna, thank you for subscribing. Number 5,000 right here, y'all. <laughs> so, for the night, I just dropped off Miss Anna. That was her trip right there, the 1109. So, the 1109 plus the 172 puts me at 183. Remember that, 183. Well... 184 because that and that makes about 184 so we're at 184 so out of 184 i need at least minimum on lift look at that 21 dollars 184 and 21 i'm over 200 dollars a night over 200 dollars and a subscribe me i hit 5,000 subs bam miss anna i appreciate it she got me over and that was my last passenger of the night my last passenger of the night got me to 5,000 subs. Now, tomorrow, motherfuckers might start unsubscribing because you know how haters be. Oh, I'm getting off it. He ain't gonna have 5,000 by the time I'm done. Don't give a fuck. Anna's always 5,000. That's for now, Anna is 5,000. How many motherfuckers actually know, personally know, they're 5,000 subscriber? And this is the most I've ever had. So, for me, to my 5,000 subscriber to actually be a passenger of Uber... And my channel is Uber Jeep AZ. I mean, you can't script that shit. It's pretty cool. I, you know, she can always say, hey, this guy, I was just 5,000 subscriber. I subscribed in his fucking car, and that shit went from 4999, flipped to 5,000 when I subscribed it. Thank you, Anna. I appreciate it. Some people are just cool like that, you know what I'm saying? And I hope, you know, she joins the channel. Hope a lot of drivers, you know, talk to her because she's really interested and doing ride share she's interested in you know doing delivery and stuff like that so i kind of told her you know this is what we can do so hopefully you know she looks she watches a little bit learns a little bit kind of picks everybody's brain especially all my phoenix people all my phoenix drivers you know kind of give her some advice in the comments and say hey if you starting out ride share in phoenix number one rule not to do is sit at the motherfucking airport do not sit in that airport queue get the fuck away from the airport queue like give her good advice like that Make sure she comes into the game knowing what to fucking do. And then from there, she'll expand when she develops her own strategy and does her own fucking thing based on the days or nights she wants to drive. But I appreciate my 5,000 subscriber, Miss Anna. She is not a driver, but she wants to be one. So let's kind of help her out be one. Why not? Back in the game, baby.